Welcome, welcome, welcome to Tuesday night at Weekend Warlords, Fly Casual. Uh, got a bit of a squeaky chair today, so um, I'm just waiting for Tim Marsden to come in and join me. Just finishing off a game out there. But I'm Steve Theobald, nice to uh, meet your acquaintance. Um, so yeah, we've, um, we've got a bit of an imp off, so we've got two games for you tonight. Uh, first one, we've got Arf on versus Lee Taylor. So Lee recently, uh, well, in this last season, won the Beanie Regional. So uh, decent player. Arfon just came second in our latest uh, Warlords tournament. So he's flying some jank. So just the thing about Arfon's list. Um, so first, first, sorry, first things first. If you're out there, give us a shout out. Let's get interactive. You know the way I like to do things. You know, we just make sure that we're all kind of interacting and talking with each other. Um, and we'll just watch a game and have a chat on a Tuesday night. It's casual, we're not doing anything that's dead serious, but we know you guys like to watch uh, games of X-Wing, so that's what we're going to do. So we see Arfon's list. We've got Captain Feroff with Elusive, Krennic and Grand Moff Tarkin. I'll bring Tarkin up in a sec because he doesn't really... Uh, I think he's the guy that you can target lock anybody on the board. Um, two, three Black Squadron Scouts, so they're your strikers. Uh, so there's the fist bump, and uh, and we're on. Let's get it on. Um, so you've got the um, yeah. So the, you've got the Reaper. Uh, you've got uh, the Squadron Scout. You've got the Squadron uh, Scout. You've got the Squadron Scout. Scout. Uh, ready to go when you want to stop timer. Yeah. We know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the timer's the buttons on the actual app. Uh, I see. It's, it's, it's all at zero at the moment. Oh right. Okay. Um, Let's, let's stop that. Yeah, we're ready. We're going. And we're off. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. That was me. I just had to reset the timer. Um, so what we've got is we've got Arfon, um, who's flying three Black Squadron Scouts. What you'll notice is on the table you've got a, um, a Whisper type model. I forget what it's called. The Thai Phantom. That's it. The Thai Phantom. Um, so he's put that on as a Black Squadron Scout for two reasons. The first one is because he hasn't got a third Black Squadron Scout. And the second reason is that that's the one that has the Krennic um, bits and bobs on it. Um, so that's pretty much what that is. So we'll have a look at the Krennic card. And uh, let me just bring that up on the screen. Director Krennic. Oh, right, it's not it's not popping up on your screen, but that's okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, so set up before placing forces, assign the optimized prototype condition to another friendly ship. So the ship that is Whisper that you're looking at, that is the other friendly ship. So he's he's put that on there for you guys, uh, just so you can see the difference. Um, and let's look at Tarkin and let's see what Tarkin's doing. Let's turn that off. Sorry. Tarkin. <laughs> Upgrade Grand Moff Tarkin. Okay, so during the system phase, you may spend two charges. If you do, each friendly ship may acquire a lock on a ship that you have locked. So yeah, so we can. Um, well, that's pretty uh, pretty crazy, to be honest. So you can spend those two charges, which regen at one per round. Uh, and each friendly ship acquires the a lock on the ship that you've got locked. So focus firing, Grand Moff Tarkin. Yeah, works for me. Pretty good. So he's also got Trick Shot and Prox Mines. So don't... <laughs> Don't uh, don't feel bad about the fact that you may see up to six prox mines drop on this table. So what you've got is on um, Lee Taylor. You've got Lieutenant Sai in the in the space cal. Um, so what we have is we have the tractor beam, which is obviously self-explanatory. Uh, we have Darth Vader crew, who, who is absolutely disgraceful, proper proper broken that card. Um, and Freelance Slicer, which is actually one of my favourites. So Freelance Slicer is actually the guy that you spend a target lock 
that you have on that ship that's attacking you and they get a jam before they shoot yeah so if they've got one token left spend your target lock jam that no focus no evade no nothing it's all good um so let me just bring vader crew up so you can see why i think he is so broken so darth vader at the start of the engagement phase you may choose one ship in your firing arc at range zero to two and spend one force if you do that ship suffers one damage unless it chooses to remove one green token so it's a token nerf or it's a damage so normally if you've got no tokens that's who vader's going to go for because he will absolutely wreck you i played against the vader list um i played against the vader list recently uh, and it did more damage than the actual ship that he was sitting on so yeah it was pretty good Hi, uh, Flaming Bear, Flaming Beer Gaming or Flaming Bear Gaming? Don't know. I prefer both. So, is it worth getting the conversion kits or buy the ships fresh as the second edition? Well, if you've already got the ships, get the conversion kit. Uh, it gives you pretty much everything you need. You get the dials. It means that you've got stuff spare. It means that if you want to buy second-hand ships, they'll fit straight in because you've got the conversion kit. Um, it's at it's forty quid ish. Um, to kit out all your ships. Uh, if you've got a small collection, I would say buy uh, the individual ships. Uh, if you've got a larger collection, then you know it's probably worth getting a conversion kit. Uh, so I hope that helps. Um, X-wing Tavern Wars. Hi, X-wing Tavern Wars. Twitch, um, Twitch viewer. So love the mini tie swarm. Yeah. So that's Lee. Let me move Vader. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, the mini tie swarm is great again. This against the mini striker swarm. So just to reiterate, Arfon's um, Phantom is actually a striker, but it's the one with the optimized prototype on it. That's why he's put that ship on, so you can see which one's which one's got it. Um, so they're just kind of, you know, trying to choose this first engagement. Arfon's got him pretty pretty hard. Um, Lee is a very tactful player, and he'll he'll think everything. Excuse me, it'll think everything through. Uh, and then coming up after this game, we've got the Wookiee Kev, uh, Kev Bellamy versus Josh Salty Mills. So that should be interesting. I mean, Josh is expecting to get his arse handed to him, but, you know, um, we'll see, you know. But again, it's Tuesday Night Fly Casual, isn't it? So my partner in crime is um, Tim Marsden. Hi, Tim. Yep, he's not here yet. You guessed it. He's absolutely not here. I'm disgusted in him. <clears throat> so yeah, keep um, you know if you're watching Tuesday night, just keep keep tuned in guys we're, we're we're here for the next sort of couple of hours so um you know i might actually get a game in after that so it's all good um oh yeah i was going for it and major vermeil let's have a look at vermeil uh for lee's list vermeil sounds like some kind of um dietary supplement doesn't it so vermeil while you perform an attack, if the defender does not have any green tokens, you may change one of your blank or eye resolves to a hit. Uh, it's got ailerons as well on the Reaper. <coughs> so again, it's about not having any tokens. It's about token stripping, um, which is good. And he has on it... 0, zero, zero Composure and Admiral Sloan. So Composure, if you fail an action and you've got no tokens... Then you get a green focus, or you perform a focus action. Zero 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 is you can um, you can offer a stress out at range zero to one. If they don't want to take that stress, you will gain a calculate token. And Admiral Sloan, I don't really play him, so let's have a look. After another friendly ship at range 0 to 3 defends, if it is destroyed, 
the attacker gains two stress tokens. While a friendly ship at range 0 to 3 performs an attack against a stress ship, it may re-roll one attack dice. Okay, seems a bit to remember there, but we'll see what um, what Sloan does, whether she comes into play or not. So yeah, that's the that's the list. That's the list. So let's see what happens. So it looks like we're going to get some engagement. I think Lee already knew that we were going to have some engagement there. So what he has done is literally uh, moved in. So he's coordinating. So Sire's ability is coordinating, means that he gets the same action for him as well, which is uh, pretty ridiculous. After you perform a coordinate action, if the ship you chose performed an action on your action bar, you may perform that action. So you can see there, but what he did there was a focus uh, onto the tie at the front, and therefore, because he did that, he uh, he gets that focus as well. But yeah, say hi if you're watching. Say hi. Come in and chat. Say hi. I don't bite. Sure, what's uh, going on here? I don't think. Okay, Flaming Beer. Um, I have a small collection of eight TIE Fighters and one TIE SF. And been away from the game for a while and looking to return to play some X Wing. Cool. Um, so, in that case, mate, if that's what you've got, I would suggest that you just buy the ships that you need. Um, TIE SF is a Special Forces TIE. Uh, so I think that is to be revamped in the new, uh, sorry, the first order kit, which is going to drop sometime this month, uh, November. That's what I mean by that. Um, but eight ties, you won't in a conversion kit, you won't get enough to do eight ties. Um, it'll be an expensive way of converting because I think you'll probably need a couple of kits. So it might be worth buying the ships. That's just my feeling on that. I'll ask uh, our, you know, our resident store guru, Tim Marsden, uh, when he comes in. He'll know. He knows everything. So it looks like there was a bump there. Um, the thing is with the strikers, I've never flown the strikers, but I've flown against them a few times. My thoughts on the strikers are that they're really kind of um, they're really tricky because of the uh, adaptive ailerons, you know, because you have to do that one bank or one straight boost uh, before you actually reveal your dial if you're not stressed. So Uh, that's okay, flaming beer. We're all good, man. <coughs> I think there's going to be a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of ships exploding in the next couple of rounds. So like I said, this is Tuesday night, Weekend Warlords Fly Casual. So every Tuesday we just put a few um, few games on stream for you. Nothing competitive, nothing silly. We literally just like playing X-Wing. So you've also got stuff um, like previous games over the last few weeks. 
Uh, we weren't streaming last week because the director, the director was on holiday. Okay, so there's a bump there from uh, the meal. Not actually sure Arfon's in a good position here with those three ties behind him. Um, I think we may see the uh, the striker with uh, optimised prototype. He might be Lee's first target with those tie fighters. So we've got the dice. So they're not using the uh, the dice area that we've got. I oh, will just go and tell them to use the dice area. One second. Sorry about that, that's me banging doors. Yeah, so there we go, we've got the dice area there now. <coughs> Excuse me. So, interesting fact, Lee Taylor's daughter, Ashley, uh, just bought cakes in for everybody. Literally just handed out about 12 cakes. So, uh, yeah, quality. So, Arfon's hit, coming in there with two hits and a crit. Uh, Lee's got one evade. So, they're just updating the app now, which will tell us what's going on. Three hits from Arfon. Arfon's dice seem to be pretty hot right now. So what have we got? So just the one hit. Yep, yeah, just the one evade. So no damage there. Ah, well, the, what type of cake? So, she made some cupcakes. And the chocolate ones had the uh, the poo emoji on top made out of chocolate frosting with a couple of, like, candy eyes put in it. They were amazing. Um, and she made some which were kind of multicoloured. Um, but they had rainbows on top with unicorns. So, obviously, we gave one of those to Dink. So, if you know Dink, then... That's why we gave him one. So yeah, Arfon's dice seems to be on fire. So Lee hits for three, Arfon evades for two. Yeah, so like, like as predicted. Ooh. So he spend the focus and hits for two. Uh, Arfon dodges for one.
Full of paint there. Big crit. And double evade. So, yeah, I think it's safe to say that our Vaughn's dice are ridiculous. Yeah, so there's the one with, with Chronic, uh, the optimised prototype on. That's what we thought was going to happen there. <coughs> well, that's what I thought was going to happen. So it looks like Vermeil took some damage in that uh, opening engagement as well. So yeah, so Vermeil was over half. Let's just bring Sloan back up because I'm not sure whether we missed some on Sloan there. Uh, okay, so Lee's not had any ships destroyed yet. Fine. So zero zero zero. Yeah, I'm just getting the. Uh, I'm just getting the. Um, the strategy of this build here. So zero zero zero. Give out the stress, and Sloan will then uh, give it the reroll uh, for that dice. So, and then when Sloan dies, obviously the ship that's attacked it gets two stress. Um, so that will then bring in. Well, would that mean then that? That would be better on something else. Not quite sure. I'm sure it would be fine. Uh, hi, Dallas Haney. Dallas Haney. Greetings from America. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Yeah, what part of America? The Flaming Beer Gaming. I love that name. Mid South. Hmm. Is that Dallas by any chance, or is Dallas just your name? That would be uh, interesting. Team Collects Ice from Sweden. Uh, Kulex Collects. Sulex. How is it? How is it said, dude? Team Collects X Wing. Or could it be Team Collex Wing? Yeah. See, I'm not sitting behind a microphone for nothing. Kulex, Seattle. Okay, cool. So Kulex, 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 Kulex. Oh, do Kulex. Um, so how is Seattle these days? I've never been. I'm just one of those people that you know doesn't venture further north than my own backyard, really. It's quite lucky because the shop's actually south from me, so. So it looks like Tarkin, he's activated Tarkin, so everyone gets a target lock on the uh, on the space bus. Hi John, how you doing mate? 
John Vickery, one of our friends from down south. Well, when I say down south, they don't talk like that where John's from. They kind of talk like this where John's from. So, found the stream this week and I've been watching your old live streams every day. I've yet to play a full 200 point game. But I'm working on it. Just the two tube, just got the two tubes brothers yesterday. Uh, yeah, the two tubes brothers are, are pretty bonkers when you put them on the table together. Um, but yeah, thanks, thanks, dude. If you've just found the stream, um, it doesn't take like two seconds to click that subscribe button, and that really helps us out. Uh, yeah, X uh, X Wing Tavern was rainy as per usual. So yeah, well, everything's raining. Wow. So there we go, there's the proximity mines coming out. Got a bit of a problem I think Lee has with one of those X-Wings. Ah, sorry, one of those TIE Fighters, sorry. So that'll go off, so it'll be one instant damage. And then two dice for hits and crits. So he hits, uh, so that's two damage on that tie from that prox mine, which is ridiculous. Hi Jeff, how you doing man? Uh, Jeff's one of the warlords for those in the chat. Um, so Jeff's watching currently on YouTube. Uh, Dallas Haney is in Tennessee. I'm Irish and Dallin, Dallas means the wise in Irish. Uh, well, Steve means the brash in English. So we're, we're joined. <laughs> What's that look for? We've had... <laughs> <laughs> what Are you look? wondering what I'm going to say? No, not at all. Good evening, internet. Hello. He waved. I did wave. Hello. I'm waving again. I wanted, until Steve pulled that face at me, I really wanted to shout Galactic Holland at, like uh, <laughs> Kelvin Talbot and Tiberius does on um, a different podcast. Yeah, on a different so, podcast. But then he gave me the look like he knew I was up to something. Uh, and yeah, I couldn't follow Tim, through with it. So. You're always up to something. I'm always uh, up to Welcome, something. this is Tim Marsden, by the way. He's, Hello, everybody. Uh, Hello, he's internet. Joining us. Um, we've got Dallas from Tennessee. Dallas from Tennessee? Yeah, he's Hello. Irish. And Dallas means wise in Irish. Good for you. Um, we've got a, um, a guy called the Flaming Beer X-Wing. All right, yeah, I love well, that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Which you did ask, which I did say when I was asking you when you'd come in. Um, he's saying, is it worth getting a conversion kit or to buy the new ships coming out? However, he's mm -hmm. only got a small collection um, of about eight TIE Fighters and a couple of other small ships. So I suggest that it might be better just to buy new ships because you won't cover off those eight in a conversion kit. Um, no, you definitely won't cover all eight TIEs. Um, you, you cover a lot of them. I think you can get like seven ties. What in a conversion? Kit? Yeah, I think so. With the core set as well. Cause so, you need, so if you get to the yeah, core yeah. set, because you the need the damage set, deck. Yeah. yeah, then you, you you can. I think you can cover seven ties. I think there might not be the seven ties you want to play, but you can yeah. definitely cover um, cover seven ties. So. Or the seven ties that Lee wanted to fly, but he's only up only putting three on the table. Lee, Lee knows what he wants to fly. This is carefully calculated. Well, it's funny that because he's got zero 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 on there. I can tell you this. That's is called that's yeah. called a segue. It's is it? A calculate. Yeah. Stress. Ah, of calculate. I'm with you. Yeah, I didn't spot that one. I'm that, being slow tonight. Andreas, I wave then. You've got to see. I told you. you yeah, might, of course, you should wave. Uh, Andreas Carlson and Dallas. Thank you for already subscribing, dude. That's, yes, that's, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, it does help that. us out. So thank you. Yeah, um, it does. He did say that's how I knew you were live. Yeah. What you, you didn't recognise? I thought for a second my, my he was going to say that's how I knew Tim walked into the yeah, office. Yeah, yeah, that was creeped me out. No, the, the, the media centre, not the office. Oh, sorry, the media centre. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I have no idea what's going on. That's I, game, no, because I've, I've just been playing Dink <coughs> and had a really good game. Yeah, yeah. We that? were just talking about Dink and his uh, unicorn, uni unicorn <laughs> cakes. So Ashley Taylor brought some cakes in, didn't she? Yeah, and I had the poo emoji one. True. And uh, Dink had the rainbows and unicorn one. Yeah. So, yeah, it's good. Uh, Siwai Saris. I've totally not said that right, but no, good he, evening. He was on He was on a couple of weeks ago. So, hello again. Thank you for coming back. So, yeah, Jeff, Jeff, thank you for coming back. You'd be here anyway. You know that. So, we know, uh, we know what's going on, don't we? In the game? No. 
No, no. Well, I don't. I just, I, I've just been guessing. So, what's in Arfon's list? Because I've heard a lot of talk about it. So oh, have you? We've got Captain Feroff with Elusive, Director Krennic, and Grand Moff Tarkin. So, Grand Moff Tarkin's the guy that gives everybody boosts. They can take no. a red boost. No. No, he gives everyone target so, lock. Tar- yeah, Tarkin. Yeah, Moff Gergerard. I'm um, getting my moffs confused. I know. I know. Yeah. You can't be a good moff, can you? I was trying to think of a pun, but I couldn't. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. There should be one called Diver. I was about to say, I think you dived in too fast yeah. in that one. <laughs> but, um, Grand yeah. Moff Diver. Yeah, Grand Moff Diver, definitely. Um, um, talk, talk to his mouth. Sorry, yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck me, I'll probably do accept it. Yeah. you accept it, Captain So, Black Squadron Scout, which is dead with Trick Shot and Proximity Mines, Trick yep. Shot, Proximity Mines, Trick Shot, Proximity Mines. Okay. So that was pretty brutal because I thought the Tie Fighters were going to struggle so against the Strikers because no. the Strikers are quicker. Uh, yeah, but I think he went straight for him, didn't he? But he went. I think he went straight for um, Vermeil. Did so Arfon just not drop his second set of uh, Prox mines? Prox mines. No. We've just only just started trying to figure out what was going on in the game. Yeah, have so. <laughs> you? Yeah. I'm sure he should have dropped some. Yeah, I thought he should have dropped both sets. Have you dropped, yeah, have you yeah. dropped them? It's like, oh, uh, this is Ash, set. by the way. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the Flaming Beer Gaming. I love yeah. that name. That, that is wicked. awesome. That's yeah, wicked. Flaming Beer. I'd like to try Flaming Beer. Mm. Is it Australian? What's that? Like a Flaming Galar. <laughs> I was thinking in, as in... Flaming Beer. I was just, <laughs> just going to say, is it not just a gay beer? It could be. A flaming Beer. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Could be. Um... And, and, and we've got a guy come from <clears throat> called Dallas from Tennessee. In. I mean, Dallas from Tennessee. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, yeah, that's like amazing. That. Yeah, um, yeah. And well, we've got some some idiot called Jeff Ball. Oh, well, that. yeah, Jeff, I like I said, guy. Jeff subscribes all the time. John Vicker <laughs> is in again. He's, he's being hello. In. Um, we'll, we'll people start talking about us, John. I must remind everyone while I'm in here, I do my little ten pennies worth. Ooh. That Dallas would um, like something. For those of you that do subscribe on Twitch, uh, the monthly subscription thing, you have to resubscribe every month. Oh, do you? You do indeed. That's very so interesting. I've only just found that out today, and I'm just going to resubscribe uh, yeah, on my phone. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? <coughs> like, as in, so, like typical radio yeah. presenter so style. We'll do that. Yeah. Let's do that while we're live. Uh, on I'll, air. I'll donate live on air. Yeah, I'll so do you that. donate. I'll donate. <laughs> Yep. So, so and, we've got a bit dead here. Why and I've got the text back, so that's <laughs> another five pounds from me. So, um, while, so while there's a bit of dead air while Steve does that, um, yeah, you can request whatever you'd like, Dallas. Fire away. Yeah, we're open to suggestions. So, how do you spell donate? Subscribe. subscribe. What is, does that? What does that say? Subscribe. What's it? Subscribe. The button that I'm trying to press to subscribe to the <laughs> Twitch <laughs> channel. Okay. You okay, hon? Are you okay? You okay, hon? I don't know what's I don't know what's happening with Steve now. Hey, I'm, um, I'm so frantically tapping buttons. Yeah, but Dallas, far away, dude. Say what you got to say. I'm assuming it's going to be. Can we talk about the game? Yeah. So yeah, we'll yeah, probably, probably try. We'll Doubt endeavour. It. Doubt it. Uh, you only have to do it yeah. if you're a Twitch Prime subscriber. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, if you're doing it through. Oh, Twitch Prime. Yeah, yeah through Amazon Prime. Oh, can you swap it. out the play map between each stream? Oof. Um, wow. Maybe is there is there a particular problem with this playmat? Yeah, that's a good point. Well yeah, um, and a very valid question, Tim. I it, must must put that in there. Yeah. So it, I mean, if not, I, I don't think they're going to go through the process of um, so that's two swapping them out. Um, but if there is an issue, you know, like people can't see what's going on, let us know, and we're open to that. So I think it may be because everything kind of looks the same, so you don't really know who's playing until you look at the names on the side. So it doesn't designate between games. But I kind of like the consistency. Oh, uh, well, I see what you mean. You don't know if it's changed game or not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fair. Because, um, to be fair, John is not the best at updating the titles of these things. John, the director. Ah, uh, okay, yep. I'm with you now. I'm yeah. following Dallas. Yep, I understand. Yep, yep. But I don't know. I mean, sure, Dallas will uh, explain. Yeah. Um, so it, so it, in this I game... a bloke and he's got a girlfriend called Debbie. So in this game, uh, we're now in a situation in which um, the three ties are are kind of hammering. Is that Feroff? Oh yeah, the game. Sorry, the game. Yeah, it looks like Feroff's on the outside edge, and it's Vermeil that's turned in. 
Yeah, that's right. Um, that's correct. So he's got blinded pirate. But we had an inter- blinded pirate. Yeah. Arr. So we had a, we had a, a situation there where two of the ties had focus. Yeah. Um, but spending it for the second hit doesn't do anything because um, Feroff would just add an evade because they wouldn't have a focus token anymore. Yeah, so, so. this is a controversial thing. Oh, we're back. Team yes. Collects has said this is a controversial because there's a big thing going on in store over the last few weeks. Yeah, I mean, Wedge Yeah, Wedge was pretty legit. I think to save to save my own skin on that comic because I still stand by everything I said. So Wedge has won, Wedge won um, Nordic Nationals, I think. But he was the fourth ship in a four-ship rebel list, which is where I said I think that Wedge works. Um, I think he, he works in the three X-Wing list just because there are no other good named X-Wings and you're just taking him for his initiative yeah. and, and he's a t- torpedo carrier. But yeah, I think um, as part of the four, four-ship four rebel list, Wedge has definitely got a place. He's a bit like Soontir in that respect. That, yeah, yeah. like, kind of, you're not taking soon tier is <coughs> not your backbone. Not, not so good as he's the not, main ace. He's not your win condition. You know, you're just taking him because he's 52 points, and yeah. he's and he's pretty good for 52 points. for 52 points. Yeah. You know, and wedge wedge is in a similar situation where he just he doesn't want a lot of upgrades. And yeah. then, um, as if he's the fourth ship in a list, he's pretty legit. Well, you know, you can just add nine points to every X wing, can't you? Just put torps on him and that makes him yeah, I mean, you're infinitely get th- better it does it does I mean you're only getting three I think the list that won Nordic Nationals was there was a Y-Wing um, was that Dutch by any chance it, it very possibly was Dutch yeah. I, can't, I can't remember but there was a Y-Wing um, Jan Oars yep. in the Hawk Wedge and mm. Sabine so that kind of that that um, combination of Jan Oars Sabine offensive cheap rebel ship um, yeah. is, is doing pretty well with the fourth ship thrown in, so. Uh, so it's just fair a, enough. Well, it's perhaps some, yeah. it's perhaps something we could do. We could change it up for next next week or something. I don't think they're gonna. Um, I don't think they're gonna roll it out and and change the map tonight. But it is definitely something we could try and make do. Uh, for next. We'll, we'll feed it back to the powers that be. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So it, oh, here comes a prox. Have we got another instant detonation? <laughs> no. You're not. I was about to say you're not the actual winner, are you? Because that'd be amazing if you were. Yeah, yeah. Is he? Yeah. It's Brilliant. Andreas. Nora in the Y. Of course it was Nora. Yeah. Nora. Nora's, Nora's awesome. It's Andreas. Is yeah. it really? Well, yeah. congratulations, Andreas. That yeah. was amazing. Yeah. So, um, is that the list you were talking about then last week, uh, two weeks ago? Yeah, they do. So VP one six one three. Yeah, proximity mines. If if you is, go over them, they do one damage, and then you roll for the other two. He's, um, he's, my, was, he's my favourite stormtrooper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does the Empire know that you're using their comm system yeah. over the holonet to talk to us? So, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it was. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So there's a bit of confusion about proximity mines because they um, they're printed one way in one. Um, it was printed in the core set rules. Yeah, they're printed one way just the rules two wrong, and they're printed and they're printed somewhere else a different way. And then the FAQ has said that just errata everything, so it just yeah. says this one thing, and yeah. that is you take one damage and roll for the other two. But no, congratulations, Andreas. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, so, quality, mate. Well yeah, done. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, definitely two. Oh, between oh, different cool. streams. Yeah, well, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be do. fair, I mean, it's been it's been two weeks, so it may have got changed. <laughs> it <laughs> might just be random. No, they've always had one, that map, so. that play map. They always use that one for streams. Fair. All right. <laughs> I didn't realise it was some secret. So did the um, Tie Fighter take damage from that? I don't know. I really haven't got. A yeah, one damage. These games. I really hope that you at home yeah, right, are not relying on us to tell you what's happening in this game because. You know, if you turn away for a second, you miss it. So, uh, yeah, it was but I swapped from Arvel to Sabine because what she could do. Yeah, yeah she's show. amazing. I, I've just I've just yeah, played yeah. Sabine, Sabine against um, uh, Ding tonight, and yeah, she's she's pretty legit. She's pretty good. Yeah. So, question for you now, Tim. What what's that shuttle going to do? The shuttle. Yeah, because it's just sort of it's now banked away. Yeah, so it's got its, um, it's got its rear arc. Nice and wide open, so I mean, it might catch Feroff because can the you block. fight? You can't fire tractor beam out of the bomb, can you? No, you can't fire tractor beam out of the bomb. But you've got Vader that works at, at range one to two, so you're not going to catch anybody yeah. with that. But so and freelance slicer, I love that card. Has he got freelance slicer? Yeah, Leah's on the side. So freelance slicer. So you spend your target with someone. Someone, excuse me. If somebody attacks you or yeah. targets you, you yeah. become the defense. So and he's, he's he's relying on that free lock from 
um, from Lieutenant Sire's ability to yeah. get that basic. Yeah. Yeah, which which it means it's a card he can put in and doesn't really have to worry about the fact that he needs to trigger it, you know? Yeah, he, definitely. Because he, he, he'll be carrying a target lock most of the time. Um, yeah, I mean, being, being jammed could still be bad. Yeah. Um, so Jeff saying Sabine's so good for points. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, she I totally is. agree. She Do you know there's there's a few ships crazy. that are creeping in now for the points that are starting to sort of become kind of mainstays in the main lists. I mean, yeah, I mean it is the. I mean, there's been a couple of surprises, but um, it's been the main ones that people have expected. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Scum are looking at Paylob a lot. Yeah, I mean Paylob. So Fallom's a big surprise. Yeah, I think yeah. Fallom was a big surprise. Um, but yeah, Paylob, then uh, the the um, the Falcon. Um, it's cheap. The yeah, but is, it, is, is the Falcon good for the cheap? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I know the escape craft. I mean, is am I right in thinking that the escape shuttle of the new Falcon is that the only thing in the scum lists that has the coordinate? Yes, unless you have like a Hawk with squad leader or something. Like yeah, 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 yeah. But as it a, as it inherently yeah, it is. In. And so for twenty four points. Yeah. Uh, well, twenty two if you don't want if you want a red coordinate. Yeah. Um, like L three is just just so good. Yeah. Like so good. Like what as a pilot or as a crew? As pilot. So you 24, 24 points. So that's like twelve points old money, and yeah. you get you get like a free action for whoever you want in yeah, your list. Yeah, that's yeah. really good. And a two attack dice gun. Um, but yeah, I mean, going back to what you were saying about about in the factions. So yeah, you've got uh, Han in the well, you've got Han in the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. You've got. Um, the quad jumpers, yeah, um, and then for Empire, I mean they've got tons of stuff, so much stuff. Red line, yeah. suited fell. So it's very much an imp. Um, I don't want to use the word meta because I think we should get rid of that word um, because the meta is there isn't a meta until lists start winning. Do no, you know I, I, I mean? don't think I don't think that's true, and I, d I don't think that so a meta. So what what's your understanding? Let's let's talk about this. Okay. Let's explore so, what let's explore what so a meta is. So so a, a meta game or meta yep. gaming came out of role playing. Yep. So it was it was about your character yep. using out of character knowledge to solve problems in role playing games. Yes. So meta means outside of. Yep. Yeah. So um uh, Lee's just lost one of his ties by the way. So like so um so basically, it's, it's about using knowledge outside Direct of the game yeah. to influence decisions that you make inside the game. Yeah. So, so the meta game is literally just at, 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 at the start. It's just what is good. Yeah. Like what is good and what isn't good because you're playing a constructed format. So you get to pick and choose what you put in your list. So, meta gaming is when you know what's good so it's not necessarily what's pop popular or what everybody else is playing or what wins tournaments those kind of things it's yeah. when you know what is good um, tailoring your list to be effective against those things yeah. So and then it becomes well there's no point tailoring to that if people don't play it there's no point tailoring to this if people don't play this there's no point tailoring to that if it means I don't make it through the cut um, to get to the, if I don't make it through the Swiss to get to the cut, okay. so, so really the meta game isn't about taking a list that's won a tournament or about a list that's won a couple of tournaments. Yeah. It's about the choices you make. So that could be anything down to what faction you play, um, yeah, yeah. Um, or how you set up, or all those kind of things, and building, building a list and strategy. Um, that is effective against the things that you are going to see when you go to a tournament. Yeah. Okay. So I think the net listing that people talk about almost in the same breath when they talk about meta gaming or the meta game. Yeah. Is is different to what to what met to what the meta game is or the meta. Fine. So when Did that people make sense? yeah 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 it was a bit convoluted. Yeah. But I got there in the end. Yeah. And I'm sure people listening didn't. <laughs> but that's so, fine. So it, no, no. But what I'm saying is, so if you then look at, let's say before, when everyone was saying the game was broken, it was all like Nimranda and yep. Racklo and all that sort of stuff, right? Yeah. Um, that was classed as the meta. I mean, but, but, there's, but, there's an argument in that in that language only means what people want it to mean, of course, and how yeah, they yeah. use it. So yeah. yeah, I mean, people definitely referred to it 
that way. So for me, and I, I ask these weird and wonderful questions, oh, and I do it, do. I do it online as well. Yeah, you okay. know, I, um, <clears throat> so and I, I spoke recently about what would be perceived as a tier one list, right? Yep. And I know we've had this discussion before. Yeah. But I don't believe there is a tier one list. There's good lists and there's bad lists. But there's tier one pilots, but not tier one lists. Um, because as I always say, you can stick a meat cleaver in the hand of a butcher and you'll get steak. You put it in the hand of oh, a so monkey, tier one pilots is in the it'd be player. a bloodbath. So yeah. tier one pilots is yeah, in the player. That's a great saying, by the way. You can have that one. <laughs> you can keep that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean... I, I agree with that, but I don't think that you can discount the list as well. No, 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 but then, then we shouldn't... For me, it's about we shouldn't bracket our lists into tier one, tier two, tier three, tier four. What we should look at is like, okay, if you've got a good list, so yep. let's go good, average, bad. Yeah. If you've got an average list, and let's say we give it to Rasta, right, or we give it to you, UK T T. <laughs> I agree with that, Jeff. I agree with that a hundred percent. Yeah. Um, uh, okay, flaming yeah, thank beer. Thank you very much, flaming send, beer. Send me some uh, flaming beer. We're both over. waving by. I've got him waving into there. I've got him waving. Um, hate, but yeah, I think. I hate no, you, I think that, <laughs> <laughs> but I think again. No, so again, right? Bit, bit of a uh, bit of a history lesson again. So the tier system came out of um, um, competitive computer gaming and out of competitive fighting games. Yeah. So they were talking about which characters. They were like tiering characters. So in that game, you can kind of objectively measure how much damage a character's attack does, how fast they are, yeah. um, what combinations of special moves that they've got, what strategies that they can employ, sometimes what glitches they can take advantage of. What synergies they've got in effect. Yeah, Yeah, to an extent. Um, yeah, I suppose, yeah. yeah. So what synergies that they have. So... Um, so people have used that in a lot of other kind of customizable games and, and constructed formats. So so the tier system is just a way of saying kind of what is the best of what is the top so tier one is like the top five percent. Yeah. Like tier one is that top that top five percent of lists that in yeah. fact it might even be less. It might even be like well, I suppose not it depends top five percent of lists that are getting played, so, arguably. So if you Again, because we can only really compare it to the information that we've got from one point. Yeah. Right? So let's let's take Nimranda for a um, for a case in point. Um, if you took one upgrade card off Nim, trajectory yeah. simulator. Yeah. That then changes the tier level of the list because it ruins the synergy. Is that where we're sort of? Is that what we're sort of saying? Or if you took yeah, bomblet, I think you I, took bomblet generator. I think on. I agree, but then I think that's where. I think that's where a lot of people kind of fall down in list building because it isn't it isn't a case of um, I'm trying to think how to construct this thought really. so it, like it, it it isn't a case of um, that that upgrade is just there because it's good yeah. like that upgrade makes that um, that archetype yeah. I, and arguably Nimranda was S tier so S was above tier 1 yeah. um, so well it took very little flying <coughs> but it still did a lot of damage I, don't, I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily I wouldn't necessarily agree with it took very little flying so Ghost Fen um, then is the one that didn't take a lot of flying didn't it? and I, I, would agree, I would disagree with that as well to really? Be yeah I think I think the, the issue with Ghost the issue with Ghost Fen was that and, and Nimranda is that you were still seeing great players like make the cut consistently with it. You would see people that hadn't necessarily, you know, that people might not have heard of, or perhaps put, usually perform lower down the tables playing that list. I think the problem is, is that what those lists are really good at is getting your head above the water. Yeah. Like you get through the first two, three rounds of Swiss, and then you're clear of all the, you're clear of all the, uh, all the junk. Uh, yeah, you're clear of all the people that either. Um, Aren't that competitive, or you know, again, and I don't, I don't mean this insultedly as well. You know, pra perhaps aren't that good at the game. Yeah. Um, you also get past the lists that can throw curveballs at you, the jank, um, and then you, you kind of into the lists that you're tailoring to beat, yeah, um, or that you've played against and that you know really well. So it, it, it let a lot of people get their those kind of lists get let a lot of people get their head above water mm. and kind of sometimes they make it into cuts sometimes they finish really high in the Swiss and people yeah. recognise it and see that they're there but the, what it does is for great players playing it 
it gives them consistency and it gives them the tools that they need to, to win and you see them consistently getting into, into yeah, cuts. Yeah, yeah. Like look okay. at look at OJ with Nimranda. O- OJ know. Hemming. Yeah. yeah. I mean what a performance he's had this year. Do you know that I beat him? <laughs> well, I'd be him a lot, but no, no, no. <laughs> with he was flying Nimranda. Yeah, I was flying Nim and Sol. And you beat him in Nim and Sol. Beat him Amazing. Nim and Sol. That's awesome. And then that was at um, Nats Nationals, UK Nationals. Was it really? Yeah. I didn't know that. First round of Swiss, I beat him. Oh, awesome. I drawn against him, and I was like, no. Yeah. And I beat him, and then it just went to to toss from there. Yeah. But I think, but I was happy to do that because I know how good he is with that list. Oh, he's he's yeah. You know, I know really how good he is with that so. list. Yeah. Um, and I saw him last weekend at uh, Derby. Oh, boards and swords. Yeah, yeah, and he was yeah. flying Fenrau, Paylob, and Fallob. Yep. Which he copied from me, apart from Fenrau, because I fly Nim, Paylob, and Fallob. You do. <coughs> but again, I didn't netlist it. I just want to put that out. No, I mean, there's a lot I, less. I, there I is a it. lot less netlisting now, and I think even the stuff that's going on where people are gravitating towards Supernatural Luke and um, yeah. Major uh, Supernatural Vader, Sloan. Um, is it Major Sloan? Admiral Sloan. Yeah. Um, Supernatural. That's, Vader, that's quite a nice card. Red line. It's amazing. I do like it. The, the, the only reason I'm not playing it is because I only own two strikers. Oh really? <laughs> and I want to bring four. I might try and see if I can find two more strikers. But Sloan's on. Uh, he's got Sloan as crew on the um, on the Reaper. He has. Yeah. So he puts you in an interesting situation because you really want to kill that Reaper first. Like you really well, want to kill that Reaper first, but it's so fast. You would though, wouldn't? So what, here's a question then. So yep. what if what if um, Vermeil with Sloan got done by a Proxmine? So let's say he got killed by a Proxmine. No, I think it has to be combat. I, I haven't got the exact text. Just just while you bring about, just going back to the point about yeah, tier, sorry. tier of lists. I think the, a lot of the reason why netlisting and the tiering of lists gets a bad press is because what they do is is if you turn in if you turn up with a different expectation, yeah, um, and you play against those kind of lists. The the power level, the difference in power level is so high yeah. that you, it's easy to get despondent playing against them. And if you're playing against them all the time, and you don't want to change the things you fly or how you fly them, yeah, you don't have you're just going to lose. You don't have many options. So I think that's why they get a negative press a lot. So yeah, and more slow. Yeah. So if if it's um, if she defends, so yes. that would suggest that yeah. So you just mines won't trigger. So you can't defend against mines. You don't so. defend against. Mines. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So uh, that's the way to get around it then. Bombs are a way to get around everything, really, aren't they? Yeah. That's why they're in the game. <coughs> but then that, that's, that's why, why they're in the game. This uh, game yeah. against spaceship combat shooting, that's why bombs are in it. Yeah. To circumvent all the rules and stop anybody having fun. Is that a little bit of... Um... I like bombs. I'm just trying to go with Hold the... Hold on, let me, let me just go back to what you said. <laughs> you circumvent all the rules and stop people having fun. Yeah, that's right. Maybe you could adapt that circumventing all the rules <laughs> and allow people to have fun. So Tim's Tim's a. Uh, I like bombs. Yeah, <laughs> I like bombs as I well. I played in Miranda when it was before before uh, Tricent, before it was famous. Before Tragic came out. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, I said that very quietly. What was that? Like bragging. <laughs> it's not bragging. It's about being proud of your achievements. Yeah. I'm sat next to the UKTC champion. That's very true. One of. Yeah, one, one of the third three. of. Third uh, three which also three includes seven. the world champion. It does. And the first ever European and the, champion. And the former European champion. So Although I think he should be like president, I think we should just still refer to him as the European champ. Well, champion. I don't know. I don't know whether Ben Leeds have something to say about Mr. That. Champion. You know, Ben. He could be the current European yeah. champion, but we just refer to Rasta as the European champion. So yeah, as a as an alumni. Yeah, like like presidents, they're always Mr. President, even yeah, after yeah. they finish their term yeah, in yeah. office. So. Yeah, it's like my old football team always still call me Gaffer. <laughs> See, that's right. That's know, how even though be. I'm not their Gaffer anymore. So. In this end game now, uh, that's for, for those listening in America, that's soccer, <laughs> not football. Soccer. So, um, so Lee's got three ships to off on uh, Captain Feroff. It looks like. So yeah, and Feroff's obviously got Blinded Pirate on board. He has still got. So he, he, he brought two yeah. eye patches instead of one. Yeah, he has got Blinded Pirate. But he still goes out. He still like fires in a hit crit, yeah. which is uh, which is all good. Uh, so yeah, I mean. That was. Do you know what? Thanks for that. I know we we should talk about the game a little bit more. That's okay. But I actually like probing your knowledge base. That's not a euphemism. <laughs> That's not face. what I was pulling the base. I, I can. I can. I can talk a good game. <laughs> Dude. And then very occasionally we it just translates. No, no, no. But then very occasionally it translates. I have yeah. a good day and it translates. Current to the weekend warlord store champion. Yeah. 
current UKTC champion, one of. Yeah. Yeah? Mm, I mean, don't cuts in every single... No. Oh, careful. Apart from this one. Careful. Yeah, top eight in, at Euros. I did do that. Yeah? That is a thing I did. Uh, you've made the cut at not this Nationals, Perry. but previous two Nationals you went at. You've made the cuts there. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> you, you've got some knowledge. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not asking you to go yeah listen how great I, I am yeah, I'm just asking you to agree with it because so you, that's exactly what happened yeah but if you if you if you want to see if you want to see somebody that's not interested in talking about all that stuff and right and yeah, you know me. they just live it and <laughs> breathe it and they don't even think about it while they're playing games just watch Raster and Sims games because they are they are phenomenal yeah. they just this stuff that's coming out of my mouth they just live it and it just happens yeah, every yeah. time they put ships on the table they you know they are Two of the best players the, in the, the world. The thing is, doubt. well, Sim is the best. Sorry, Sim currently the best. the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's simply the best. Simply the best, it's better than all the rest. He is. Um, but yeah. the, the thing is, with with those two, like talk, uh, the the Delapina dynasty. So oh, he's my current X-wing nemesis. You can add that to his repertoire. Tartan James. So is he one of the uh, Tartan Tuscans? You're gonna have no. to let us know who you are, Tartan James. Well, I'm off. Always been a pleasure to chat to listen to you while looking at your stream. Yeah, cheers, dude. Congratulations yes, on you your very, Nordics congratulations win, Congratulations again, Andres. And uh, thank you for winning stuff with Wedge. Yeah, and thank you for um, blazing us. Blazing us? I don't know. Blazing us. Blessing us. Blessing us. With oh, your... it's two states. Yeah, oh, no, it's of James. Of course it is. Of course oh, it's Mr. Finlayson. James Finlayson. Hi, mate. Hello, How are you doing? James Finlayson. I like that I'm your nemesis. That's good. Ba basically, though... We you we turn up and play though and you absolutely hammer me unless it's on stream or a final table. So I apparently. said this I played James at the last Warlords tournament, right? Yeah. And it was nearly a mirror match. <coughs> his Fen Rao was incredibly hot on his green dice and I couldn't do anything to take him off the table. However, um, James is on one of my lists. Well, I have got lists, right? And one of my lists is people that I have never beaten that I will beat one day. <laughs> And James well, is on that list. Simeon is on that list. Yeah. You were on that list until I beat you yeah, with you beat a Star Viper. I beat you with a single Star Viper naked. <laughs> I don't remember. I must have blacked out for that game. No, you beat me with your um, you beat me with your Skirks. Yeah, yeah. When I was playing the the, the list that I won the store championship. In. Yeah. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you right, did. you're right, you're right. Yeah. Because yeah. um, I flew into all your balls. Yes, you did. All of them. <laughs> we, I like that. No, I thought it was Pac Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> waka, 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 waka. Um, but James is one of the best yeah, players in the we world. We love you, James. Um, he's, he's, we're proud that he's a warlord. Yeah. Um, we just claim everybody know. as well. So well, we're not good. like the 186. Sorry? We're not well, we claim like them the before they win something. Yeah, so. yeah. So what we do is we, I mean, we're fishy as well. We've Fishy's just joined us. So Fishy is the current UK Nationals champion yeah. um, at the second attempt. Um, so <laughs> uh, so Jane, we've got James two stakes Finlayson and we've got Luke two chances Townsend. Yeah, True. so there you go. No, but um, I was again, I was at this thing in Derby uh, last weekend with, with Luke um, and that guy is just immense. He's just such a good player. He, he wrote a list oh, yeah. on the Friday night. Yeah. If you read his blog, right, he wrote a list on the Friday night and he was drunk and he took it and he came well he lost on the final table he ended up third wow. on MOV now I tell you what like like, so you, I was fifth and again so like Rasta can do this um, <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there so Rasta can Rasta can do this yeah um, Luke can do this yeah Simeon can do this they can just turn up with yeah. a list and they can just make it work like 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 so, uh, Luke, Luke can bring like you know three X wings and a U wing down yeah, in one point yeah. and do really well with it. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, who um, who across the country would you kind of put in that bracket? I think Lewis Witham's pretty good. Yeah, Lewis is. With, with that Lu sort Lewis of... is probably the best player in the country not to have won anything. I think he's doing. He won a no, I mean as in like champ oh a, a bigger yeah, bigger yeah, yeah. He's 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 definitely up there. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, again, consistency. You know, what well, are you asking me? Who I think are the best players? No, in the no. I, I mean, there's, there's certain names which you see in the cuts all the time. So you know, so people like Ollie Potman. That's it. Well, the shuttle just finished off fair off at range one. Oh, did it? Yep. Was oh, it over? Done. 
Um, well anyway. done to Lee. Sod the game. No. <laughs> are, you, so are, are you asking me who I think are the top Well, if you country? want to answer, I know that that could be a little bit kind of not something that would be... Well, I'm going to answer objectively. I'm not going to tell you my favourite people. Yeah, it's not about but... the people. Sorry, boys. I've just got uh, so Ash has come in and he's doing some stuff. Can I get a drink? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tim's asking for a drink very quietly. I am. The mic's picking it up. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so Lee wins that one Please with his uh, with his brutal. Um, I backtrack three or four turns where I'm saying, "What's that shuttle doing?" Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, <coughs> so well, yeah, I was, was going to answer. He's got lots of space to turn yeah, yeah. left to <laughs> and rejoin the fight, which is a good position for the shuttle because normally they're kind of running to a board edge, being chased by stuff. So yeah. that's what I was going to say, and then he did it. And, so. Um, so people that kind of always make that top end. Oh, that um, Ash Brooks, I think he's one of the best players. Ash Brooks is uh, easily one of the best players in the country. In the country, <laughs> yeah, jeez. But what he has done, he's cemented his legacy with some little backstreet YouTube video with a guy called Rasta. <laughs> <laughs> Backstreet, right. yeah. Backstreet, back. boy. Backstreet's back, all right. All right, all right. Stream. Do, 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 do. Trying to buy this pirate stream. Yeah, blinded pirate stream. <laughs> all right. Um, Do we find the name of our podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Brown Mist Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what it is. That's my name in the chat. <laughs> Brown Mist Hunter. Yours is the Fun Hoover. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it is. I, yes. I didn't even see you. I changed it from that guy to, to the Fun, the fun Hoover. It's always you that changes my name. Yeah, yeah, because well. yeah. I'm, I'm the life and soul of the party. <laughs> <laughs> one in I'm the, the annoying one. Updating names. Yeah. Uh, down from the T Squadron <laughs> is a monster with I think O. I was supposed to say James Down. Oh, yeah. Is Mar- it James Martin Down? Is it Martin Down, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is a monster with Jank and is even better with Meta. Yeah. He was second at the tournament wasn't he the week in Warlords tournament I believe he was yes yeah. and he was flying a swarm yeah, was no was, no, was off on second oh sorry yeah he lost uh, Martin lost on the final table yeah. didn't he um, yeah he was oh, flying was he flying properly, he? Yeah, yeah it was really weird he was playing seven ties seven no, ties got like, I think he got like five ties and a shuttle I think, oh, right, yeah, I think okay. he got a slow cool. shuttle well, four, um, ti- four ties and Yeah. So coming up next, we've got um, Josh. Salter. Salty yeah, Mills. Yeah, Sloan Swarm. There you go. Been listening to these. So James, I think, is one of the best players in the country. Yeah, well, without doubt. I mean, mm-hmm. you, can't, Mr. you can't do that. You can't do that in like every regional and not be one of the. Not be, you know, no. not have proved yourself no. to be one of the best players um, in the country. I think. During the last kind of the last regional season, I think Alex Bruce had a shout. Yeah. Because he was making cuts and he was doing, you know, he's really consistent. Yeah, I think. Um, you know, I think he struggled. I was chatting to him actually. He was struggling a bit with the two point oh transition. I feel like I want to dodge this question. Don't, don't <laughs> dodge the question. Be, be, have strength in your convictions. So obviously we've got you know the current world champion that yes, plays for yeah. us. Which is nice. When he not, turns not up. Drawing, yeah, when he turns up. Well, that's what it is. You're like, he's 18. He's got a girlfriend. He's got a job. Yeah. You know. Not and he's already world and champion. And he's already and he's world so champion. Good at so why? Yeah, this begs the absolute anyway. question. Yeah. Cheers, dude. Why would you even bother about X Wing when you've got that whole kind of? Thing? He, he wants to sw- He wants to swagger in to uh, Minnesota next year in November. This time next year, he wants to swagger in, right? He's just gonna sit back in his chair, take his shoes off, yeah, yeah. stand up, Get his feet observe out. the table, and then he wants to win that second world championship. I guarantee. Do you know what? I, he is not taking it easy. He wants to win that second. Yeah, second I, I, I get it. But you know, if it was me, and this is just me, total arrogance, I'd go over there and I'd drop before round one. <laughs> I you would. Wouldn't. I would. I'd, or I'd lose every game to right. hundred nil. Okay. I, uh, I have you there, lists. Oh right, what yeah. Okay. Want? So we'll take, um, guys. We're going to take a five minute. Think one minute. We're going to take a five minute while these guys are setting up. So I'm going to turn the mic off. Um, so hope you've enjoyed that. Just We will be back in a bit.
So uh, we've got Salty with his double Ds, and we've got Kev Bellamy with... I know, I'm excited what? to see what? two defenders. Hold on, what? Yeah, I know, we'll come back Kev we'll come Bellamy back is flying imps. Yeah. I, I need to go and lie down.
and welcome back. Uh, we're all coffeeed up, and yep. they've all set up, and we've told them how to operate on stream. Yeah. Hello. So Hello, it's internet. me and Tim for this one again. Yeah, we're back. Uh, I'm Steve. Hi. I'm Waved Tim. Waved again. Hello. <laughs> He's going to be Seriously. doing it. He's always going to do it now. It's He's going to do it on his pirate radio station. As I do. Well. I did played on Sunday night. Did you wait? No. Why not? You will now. Because I was drunk. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> so you might have been waiting. I did half a bottle of crack and rum while I was on there. Well, you tipped well, I've heard there. a lot about this crack and rum. Mate, it's filth. What, it's what percentage? 40. Oh, okay. Fair enough. But it's standard. It's, it's standard. black rum. It's very, yeah. very smooth with a bit of Pepsi Max. Do you like a bit of that? Uh, yeah. Like well, I didn't have you down as a bit of a drinker. I don't drink anything. Do you? <laughs> Mate, <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I want to see you when you're drunk. I would literally we'll have to do drink the, anything. We'd have to do the Warlords Christmas party. Yeah. Get you drunk. Yeah, yeah. Who'll be running around going, don't you know who I am? I I've chased, done I this. I chased the man around like I'm sitting something with a mop. That Did sounded you? a skip. So you know Richard Campsall? Yeah. Right? He, I we love were in Richard Nottingham. Right? Have fun, Richard Campsall! <laughs> Stop telling me what to do, Tim! Just a little bit. That I, we'll know. Do, yeah. I know. I know. Me and Rich go way back. <laughs> Nothing gets past Rich <laughs> with me about. Anyway, no, but by the by, um, last time me and Rich were out in Nottingham, he actually stopped a street busker, took his guitar, and sang Heart Shaped Box by Nirvana. And, and... Did the, did the was, busker pay him? No. Oh. It was actually pretty good. That's amazing. The guy can play guitar, me, yeah. and the guy can sing. I never knew. I knew, I knew him. I've known him for, like, years up until that point. And I'm like, oh, well, who, who is this Richard Campbell guy that you're he's presenting me? He's been lying to you. Yeah, he was. So we've got... So I'm a little disappointed. Salty then. Anyway. We love Salty playing double Ds. He's got Rex LeBrath with Duke Fire Control System, Heavy Laser Cannon, and Colonel Vessery with Duke Advanced Sensors and Heavy Laser Cannon. Do we want to run wow. through... Do we want to run, run through Kev's list first, or do we want to talk about Salty's list first? Well, let's talk about Salty's first, because... Um, oh, Bridesmaid... That's me. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Nothing. We are just about to start bridesmaid. So good evening. Yeah. I'm waving again. Hi, Hello. Wave. Hi, waving. Cool to see the Lone Academy tie. Fast, effective, cheap ship. Yeah. Um, right. So let's talk about Saul's list about because list. what you wouldn't expect from a couple of defenders is that kind of build. Really? Well, Duke, you would expect Duke, yeah. but not Advanced Sensors, maybe. Yeah. See, I knew you'd pulled your face at Advanced Sensors. I think Advanced Sensors is the right shout. I think Advanced and Sensors HLC's in a really? double... Yeah, that's, yeah, I mean, you've got the point. I mean, he's running at, like, he's got, like, a six-point bid, as it is. Uh, try again, I can't add up, can I? He's got, like, a one-point bid, so you've, yeah, got yeah. The point, you've got the points. But I would argue, can he afford it? Yeah, I think he could. So if he drops the two heavy laser cannons, he can make Advanced Sensors on Rex LeBrath as well. And I think well, that's um, a five-point swing, isn't it? Because fire is fire control three or two. Three. So he only needs five. So he needs five. Six back from the heavy laser cannons. No, they're four each. Are they four, four each. each. Yeah. I think it's eight. So he definitely can. Yeah. <laughs> but I knew you were pulling. I knew you were pulling a face at the advanced sensors. And I think advanced sensors is the right shout. I think. Go on. And uh, why, why would that be? So, well, because the argument is that you, if you use advanced sensors, you don't. Sorry. Get... Hello. Oh, no. Tim, can I borrow you for two seconds, please? Ooh. It's a rules question. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, you can't. Like Rust has like to no, you yeah, Tim's the only person. You, you talk about why you think advanced sensors. No, are I don't want to. Advanced sensors give more options to get the HLC in. Hand. Fair. Okay. Oh, Rust has come in and stolen my wingman. What's going on? Anyway, so you'll notice that Salty is the guy with tattoos. Um, and Kev is the guy, well, we all know Kev, we love Kev, he's the Wookiee. He's the Weekend Warlords Wookiee, the triple W, the www.kevbellamy.wookiee.com. Don't know what that means, just made it up. So there's only 14 health on the board from Salts, and there is 5, 8, 14, 26 on the board from, from the Wookiee. So... Uh, it's going to be tough, I think. I think Salt going to need some good, uh, good green dice to, you know, if he comes under any sort of focus fire. Um, but the Duke might come into its own here. Uh, yes, I mean, I mean, oh, if you can get both the ships. Back. Hello, welcome back. So, um, go on then. What, what's so your thoughts I, I on didn't, I didn't, I, I, well, um, Bridesmaid says advanced sensors gives more options to get the HLC and arc. Um, I think. 
not quite sure. I, I, I mean, I it definitely agree. does. I mean, it definitely yeah. does. I mean, the the thing with the HLC is that I just don't think you go chasing it. I think you whack it on because you've got eight points in the list, and then if you get it, it's good. And if you don't, so what? Um, yeah. Go on then. Talk, talk me through advanced sensors because you pulled a face at advanced sensors. Why? 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 Why do you think that's no, I don't. I don't see a good shout on a defender. Right. So before I answer that question, so when they do the three manoeuvre, yes, is the is the evade an action? Yes. So you can't advance sensors and correct. then get the get the evade. Absolutely correct. You can't. So that's the thing which makes it. So right. So again, and I'm, yep. I'm thinking this through now. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. on yep. Do it. So he thinks I'm trapping him. No, you're not. No. <laughs> <laughs> the honey trap. Um, Giving you just enough so rope. So, <laughs> what it does do yeah. is it makes the defenders less predictable by doing the threes all the time. Because a, a juked up defender would normally do three, four, or five manoeuvres, four yeah. Ks, three hards. So, say, so say you're in a situation where, you know, like now he might have to three bank or three turn into Kev's swarm. <coughs> yep. Yeah. So if he's doing that. He's not going to advance sensor. He's just going to do the three-speed maneuver and take the focus on the evade. Yeah. Yeah. If the advanced sensors with that boost or the barrel roll plus his maneuver gives him an option to get out of two, three arcs. Yeah. He's going to do that because then he doesn't have to roll green dice at all. Right. So, so it's, he doesn't it's need the evade. Purely maneuverability. Yeah. For so so let let's say for example you've got a situation for where for evasive maneuvers. Yeah. Say, say say you're at forty-five degrees with each other. And they move forward, and you know that a boost, a bank boost plus the 4k gets you out of arc of everything. Yeah. You're going to do that with your advanced sensors. Mm. Whereas, and if it isn't, then you're going to do the three speed maneuver and just take the focus of aid. Right. Yeah. Okay. Or you're going to do like a, say, a five forward and a boost and be gone. Yeah. Yeah. Or the boost, or the bank boost and a five forward, or the, you know, you've got, you've got so many options with that advanced sensors. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's pricey, but you've already paid a lot for the ship if you're taking named ones anyway. Um, or one thing you can do, which is really cool because you're only a two ship list with advanced sensors, and why I think it should be on Rex Labrath as well is Rex Labrath could target lock, go, or bump something, yeah. and then Vestry set up for the rest of the game then with that target lock on the target that he wants to shoot at. Um, so, you, okay, so you, you're in effect, you, you can change the play style of the defenders. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. A lot definitely. of people will just fly them super aggressive. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. and I mean you still you still can play them super aggressive. I mean it, it's interesting what um, what Salt is doing here, going on that flank. Yeah, um, well, I, I think he's trying to draw him in to get a better angle. Because if Salt hard threes in next turn, then you know I think he's he's still got two that are like going to have to turn around to get in. So in effect, yep. he may have bought himself like half a move or a move for yeah. positioning. I Do think you see what I mean. I think he might be right with that, like a one bank with. Um, the nearest defender and then like go straight go round the block with the other defender because what you, anyway we'll talk, we'll talk about Kev's list and then yeah yeah, yeah sorry yeah. I haven't done that bit so oh, Kev yeah. so Kev's playing Echo with Duke Collision Detector Echo. Ad, Echo. Admiral Sloan and Stealth Echo. Device so Echo. typical Phantom stuff, stuff. Um, except he's got stuff. <laughs> Admiral Sloan on it stuff. yeah would you see when I say oh, when I ask people if Whisper if they're ready for Whisper to shoot I normally go they go uh, they'll go combat phase and I'll say Whisper and then they always go, yeah, go on then. They never go, come that face. Come that face. <laughs> and they don't do it. So, so it's all about, Jeff is <laughs> yeah. saying, it's all about... It can be, Jeff. It can be. Daredevil defenders. It can be. I think Duke's better, but Daredevil's more fun. Because <laughs> you can just be wherever you want to be oh, with I thought that. he was talking about the Marvel character. Oh, or, season or, three. Oh, my. Mate, I'm halfway three. through it. So Whoa. stop it. Don't. don't. Anyway, don't. Um, so, yeah, so Kev's... Kev's uh, the rest of the squad, sorry, is filled out with an academy pilot and three scimitar squadrons with um, barrage. barrage rockets. So Kev has said uh, he probably should just be playing um, strikers, yep. but he only owns one. So <laughs> what he's looking to do is he's looking, he's got four three dice guns and a two dice gun and a blocker in that academy pilot. Fine. So yep. what he's looking to do is just swarm out, take stuff out, and if he loses those uh, swarm ships then his opponent ships are going to be double stressed because of Admiral Sloan. And especially in a situation like this where um, if either of Salty's ships gets double stressed, that's probably game over. Like they're going to have two turns of firing with no tokens. Yeah. Um, um, and and so the swarm's going to be able to finish them off. So it's Kev's endgame ship Echo then, yeah? 
it is ironically it is but the reason why he's got Sloan on Echo is because if he needs to that Phantom can stay out of the fight Yeah, that Phantom can stay out of arcs well he's slow he rolling clear, isn't he, he Look, it's right off. at the back yeah I mean he wants to keep it in a position where he knows where to put it basically and um, so what what Saltwee has to do is he has to survive those arcs get past them yeah. and he needs to put damage into um, Echo and you might see I mean Salt is an aggressive player I know he's an aggressive player so you yeah. probably aren't going to see this oh, right. so but you doing. might see a situation where Salty just kills Echo so he's turning around and that's it and that's not a bad move actually that's pretty cool so could he I'd so like to see a, I'd like one to see bank a, boost I'd like to see a boost here I don't know about the one bank yeah get the arc I don't think he, I don't think he wants arcs Sol Salty doesn't win this game by putting shots into um Generics. Well, he can take them. He's done it anyway. But I mean, that, that makes him. But that but that, that, that kind going. of goes exactly with what you were saying in regards to he's an aggressive player. Yeah, well, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, an and I've played Salt countless times. Yeah. He's one of my fellow mid tablers. Yeah. Right. Not like you boys at the top end. Um, and Salt, me and Salt always have epic games. Um, but he is. He's super aggressive. You know. Yeah, he is. And this could be a 4k as well. Yeah, and maybe a one bank boost just to keep him in formation. But again, like, like I, I, I wouldn't be looking to keep them yeah, okay. in formation, really. No, you need to split. I, I need to flank that spot. And I know you love this, but I wouldn't be looking to take a shot for at least half an hour, 40 minutes. Okay. I would, I would so about the, about the same amount of time as it took you to get in on the last stream, then? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Um, you know, because I'd be looking for those openings. I'd be just, just trying to get to Echo, just all the time, and just trying not to take damage on my defenders because <coughs> they can. You know, because they can do that. They can take no damage if you. If but if he can, if right he can zone. take the uh, one of the ties out and get some points on the board. But if he takes the tie out, he's double stressed, and then the bombers pounce on him. He can't go anywhere. He's got no actions. Okay, so there's a zero there. Yeah, so two focuses and so two blanks. Kev's going to spend his evade, take one, take one damage. Well, no. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. 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 So he's put one in. I mean, what he could do is, but it's a very dangerous game, do, is try and put two. one more damage into that tie, yeah, yeah. and then he's up on points. Well, I think he's got a range three from Rexler. Maybe. So just for people that have maybe joined us or they're not quite sure what's what, Rexler's the uh, defender at the top of the, the screen. Um, so he's the initiative five. So yeah, it's range three. Oh, so we did have a shot with Rex. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so he's trying to kill it. So we don't kill it. So it's just got the uh, the crit. So we don't. So kill which it. is a dodge. Oh, he's all right. Unless it's double damage. Don't be double damage. No, no, didn't go through. Kev oh, you just got one. Yeah, hit. yeah, one oh, hit. Okay. Uh, Kev rolled too late. Good. So <laughs> good. So he stopped shooting his shit. <laughs> don't do so it. So here's the shot back. So which is. Nothing by the looks of things. So he's cloaked Echo. Yep. So Echo is obviously the. Um, I think we're actually talking about the game, aren't we? Yeah. We are actually talking about the game, aren't we? Yeah, well, we're in full flow, dude, so let's not. <laughs> um, Wally D cloak, you must use the two bank template instead of the two yes. straight. Yeah? Yep. So he's going to be looking to do some horrible things with. So Echo apparently is the slippery trickster. She is. I, I absolutely love the little, uh, the little um, uh, the, 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 the flavour text. Yeah, yeah, the little uh, yeah. monikers that were given the pilots. I don't know. Who's, Ace who, of Legend. Is that soon to fell? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, yeah. soon to blood clot fell. That's what I call it. <laughs> blood clot. Yeah, because it's just so fucking well. Wow. So what? So what's um. Vess are we looking to do here? So Vess, um, so what's Vess's thing? What's uh, his, what's his title? Same as he was in. Oh, what's his title? Yeah, no, no, Ooh, what, no, no, no Vess, idea. Vess, Colonel. That's what his title. Yeah, is. it is Colonel Vess. Yeah. So Vess, when you perform an attack against a lock ship after you roll attack, me. Oh, right. So yeah, contemplative okay. commander. Contemplative commander. So ooh, if you've got a target lock, I might shoot you. I just spilled coffee down myself, internet. It's, dude, seriously, when you're doing these sorts of broadcasts, I need you an don't adult. need to narrate your own life. Why? I need an adult. You are an adult. <laughs> I need one. I spilled coffee down you're myself. Not, you're not an adult. So, so what does Vessery do here then? Uh, for me, um, five forwards. So, 
Five forwards, one bank boost around the rock because I think Kev's going to come in. So or Kev's Kev can like one bank this way, yeah. and then his arc well, is we, all when, that way. Again, when we're doing like radio stuff and microphone stuff <laughs> this way, I am really correct. Happen. He's right. Okay, so the leftmost bomber could bank to the left, yeah, yeah. and then his arc is in in where that five forward is going to be. Um, it might even just be better off just like oh, I don't know one forward maybe. But, but so yeah, so. Okay, so Bryce may say, so how does Sorty win this game? Can't believe Kev is going to uh, He's got to get behind it. He's got to get behind those bombers. He's got to like get through, take maybe one, two shots from something, and then and then hit hit um, Echo, and then go away again, and then come back for that scenario again. So the, how basically, the, the only way Sorty wins this game is either he he looks out and he gets half points on something and then goes, which isn't a bad idea with the bomber to be honest, or he um, he he keeps patient and he plugs away at Echo and he plugs away at Echo and if he gets Echo then he's in the game ok so how about then for Salt then and Vess why doesn't he so I don't know why he started Vessery on the inside because what you'd want is want, you want Rex on the inside to get the target lock no you, so you want Vessery on the inside because you, you want your lower initiative ships on the inside of the formation Um so that when you, so, so when you bank or turn, yeah. Because if you turn, in formation. sorry, he's flying them in formation. So yes, he's flying them at range one. So of Kev's gone for the block. Uh, he doesn't need to. Um, it, maybe. So for me, for Saul, I mean, I was going to say this, but now the ties there is going to seem like I wasn't going to say this. So advanced sensors barrel roll or advanced sensors boost one bank to the right, and then four K. So he's up, uh, well, so he's he's up, up near, so he's up near the debris. Mm, I'm not sure. See, I thought. I don't what know. What do about you think? That. What do you think? I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one forward from Kev because I like yeah. it for this turn. But then it's. I mean, yeah, well, he's he committed. Hard to, he can hard to next. The, turn. To, the, the yeah, but the the so. bomber on the right hand side of the three. Yeah. Um, the is now three. is now committed to that rock. No, no, because he can hard two away. He can hard two to the left. No, but he's not going to hard. I think he will. He's not going to go over the rock. He will just hard two to the left and break his body. The one to the, oh, right. the, one to the right. One to the right. Yeah, he's committed to the right of that rock. Yeah, so he's committed to that rock now, so which then instantly isolates him. It can do. Depends on what manoeuvre Salt is doing. The, the Hold on. So let me let me just talk about Hard talk three to the left isn't bad. Oh, what is he doing? <clears throat> so he's advanced sensor in barrel roll. Yeah. To the back, and I think he's going to three bank away. Yeah, he needs to be going right here if he's doing that. Yeah, it's I back, mean that was that's back not towards his start. That, that is exactly the option I would have taken, to be honest. Yeah, I would have let made. Kev, no, he's gone three forwards. See, I would have made Kev commit to the rock, and I would have been up back near my board corner again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because then I can come, I can whip round faster than can Kev can, and like you said, he's isolated himself on that side of the rock. And what he wants to do is to get Kev to overcommit, and yeah, then yeah. get in behind. See where he is now. He's got no actions, and he's taken three barrage rockets and a shot from the. Um, yeah. So, he, so he's basically just lost Vesper. So a hard three, and and possibly the game with that. A hard three with Rexler is probably a good move by now. Um, because he'll take him out the arc of that tie. Then it gives it gives the the um, the bombers a choice. So he's done the same. I mean, at that point. So where does the tie go from here? Because that tie's not taking any shots. So who does he shoot? Everything shooting. Everything is shooting Vessery. Okay. Yeah, because he hasn't yes. got the. Uh, everything shoot. Everything shooting Vessery because he's got no no um, tokens. So he sort of hasn't even considered Echo. I don't think. I don't um, think he's seen Echo as the key to that list. I, I think he has. I think I think he has, and he had a really good opening. Like, like I wouldn't have boosted for the shot. I would not have boosted no. for the shot last round. And maybe with Vessery because he was range three. There's an argument to say as well that if you fly things super aggressive, you can actually go too fast and overcome it. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, so if so there's you, that boost in your mind, <coughs> see, something someone uh, t once told me whilst playing um, it was way back when I used to fly advanced sensors Sol done it again Spilled no it again. no I haven't I was just admiring the one I so when I, when I was playing advanced sensors Sol I can't remember whether it was you or 
Rasta or somebody told me, says that, you know, you will plan your move in your mind when you set your dial, yeah. what you want to do. But advanced sensors gives you the opportunity to change that manoeuvre. Yeah. Well, not, not the manoeuvre. Yeah, but sorry, change the end position. Change the end position. Yep. So I was told that before you do anything, you don't have that move fixed in your head. You do it stage by stage and you review at every stage. Right. So you advance census barrel, then you review it. Or you then look at it before you even set your dial. Um, well, what, what options have I got? You set your dials with knowing that you still have that advanced yeah. sensors in the bag yes. to be able to get yourself out of trouble should you need to. Yes. If you hire, if you hire or, initiative or, or mitigate, hire, yeah, mitigate or hire pilot skill as it was then, I agree with that. Yeah. So it's two focus. So, so nothing. So one thing, one thing that so this is going to sound like a brag, and I don't mean it as a brag, but one thing that people say, kind of like I'll play a game against them, and if I'm using something like Advanced Sensors Vader or uh, not Advanced Sensors Vader, um, Supernatural Reflexes Vader, or just something like you were talking about, where you have options after, after you um, reveal your maneuver dial to change it to a different position, so Supernatural Reflexes Luke, Sabine, all that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff, and they go. That was amazing. Like you just keep out flying. I was like I was playing. Um, so three uh, from Kevin. To Jamie eight. Jamie Bradley. Yeah. Uh, last week. Top player. Yeah, awesome guy. And um, like he was, I was running Boba Guri, and Guri was just dancing around him yeah. and doing whatever I wanted because his ships moved before mine. Yeah. Um, and he was like, "It's amazing. I just can't get shots on him as well." I said, "You know, I'm saying it looks good. It looks like I'm amazing. But all I am doing is planning the maneuver that I think." will be the best manoeuvre for me yeah. and then if I need to get out of trouble I, I have tons back, of options yeah. to get me out of trouble yeah. and it makes you look amazing and and it used to be in the first kind of few waves of the game like if you were if you were PS9 or you know or whatever yeah. it was like you were playing soon tier and they didn't have a turret you looked absolutely incredible but it was basically because you just got to do whatever you wanted with perfect perfect information yeah, yeah, yeah of course um, so it's three hits from Kev sort his dice it's what a dead defender doing? it's going to be a dead defender or it's going to take a lot of damage Unless he, so unless he rolls two. just natural evades. I, that's dice. why I said, you know, I said right at the beginning of this, I think the, the key to Salt's game is about the amount of green dice that he rolls. So he's, you know, he's been quite fortunate here. I mean, if, if uh, Vessary can live, there's a... Um, oh, did Kev spend his focus on defence? Or is this... Kev, these are Kev shots, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. So if, if Vessary lives, that rock is going... Uh, that bomber is going into the rock. And that could potentially half point it without um, without Salty having to yeah. actually shoot it, which is really good. However, he's going to have lost half points on Vessary, which he has. So it's fifty-two to nil at the moment, which is really bad. Like because Salt because Salty's already having to play that patient game, yeah. that really patient, that scalpel type game. Yeah. Um, being fifty-two points down is just horrendous. So Salty set his moves already. Yeah. So. Again, I think I think the defenders are in a bit of trouble. They're in a lot of trouble. I mean, next turn's not too bad. I mean, Rexler isn't going to solo this game. He could do. He, he could get into a position where the ties are so horribly out of position that, that Rexler can have a good go at um, Echo for a few turns. And if he can kill Echo quickly, he might be able to get back in this game. Yeah. But he's going to he's going to be forced he might see some forced errors because he's got to get back in this game quickly so are you thinking of 4k from the tie fighter just the naked tie the academy could one hard one hard left yeah yeah because the well unless the defender unless Rexler goes one forwards he's going to be yeah he'll overshoot, he'll yeah, overshoot yeah. the tie yeah, yeah easy the issue is, is so. <coughs> so, bridesmaid so, needs to break the line and kill Echo. Yep. She's going to be a range three of all Kev ships, predictably hard left for the defenders to do this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not sorry, sure. Predictable hard left. So I don't. I don't, I don't think Vess is going to be able I to get Vess around that rock. Vess is going to. Vess is going to fire forward. Yeah. Vess needs and then to one fire forward. Boost. It just needs to be gone. Yeah. So, um, so there we go. Echo's decloaked. <laughs> He just he just needs to what five five forward and be gone because so Rexler could end up in a situation where all he's taking is one barrage rocket this round, yeah, yeah. which is really good. So yeah, there's the hard and then one. and then that gets him that gets him through the line. That's um, predicted. So like so again, 
Rexler one forward, two forward. He could even barrel. He could even barrel back with advanced sensors, and he might be able to sneak a hard turn in there. So the bomber's gone onto the rock. Yes. So if this takes, if this does him a damage, might even be a crit. I can't even see it. I think it's a crit. So just for anyone that may have missed that, that that was because of the disabled power regulator. Yeah, which ironed him onto onto the uh, onto the asteroid. Oh, they've just got rid of a crit. I think it was another crit. So that's really breach. Good. Yeah, well, that, no, that's fine because that's just got salty some points. So because because now salt is in the same position for his win condition as he was before he needs to kill echo like he's in exactly the same and when he does that he's up on points he just yeah. needs to not lose vessery so there's a lot gone in on Vess. yep yeah that's a good one that's opened that arc up you know nice nice slow roll mm, yeah just that get that 45 degree angle open five forward come on no. Nope. Oh, he's on the rock. Don't go on the rock. Oh, he's alright. <clears throat> so do you reckon he'll PS kill the one that's on the rock? No. Because he's still stressed. If he kill if he kills the one on the rock he gets two stress tokens. Yeah, but he's gonna die anyway. Yeah, but he shouldn't be looking to throw that defender away just to get just to kill a bomber. Do you think he's got Arc on Echo? Um, no, I don't think he has. No, it's close. So you, this is a first, guys, on the uh, on the Warlords Tuesday Night Fly Casual. We're actually talking about the game. <laughs> we are actually talking about the game. For most of the game. Yeah. So there's the 4K. What would you do now? Focus? Um, I'm, I'm not sure I would have 4K'd, but um, yeah. So does that yeah, does slow focus. anything you kill? It's tight. Oh, no, Salty, no! Salty! Anything you've killed? Yeah. If Sloane's on the board in range 0 to 3, it's two strikes. Yeah. Anything? Yeah. Yeah, Sloane is Sloan Sloan ridiculous. Yeah, you take, you take that first, then, wouldn't you? You've yeah. got to kill Sloane first. Every single day. Yeah, you've got to kill Sloane first. I mean, you might have other options in lists. So because, so because Salty's gone for quality of pilot over quantity... Like he can't just like you said, oh, I'll just kill yeah, that yeah. tie and then uh, that's fine. Gets me some points, but he can't do that because he can't match Kev ship for ship. Yeah. And every time he kills a ship, Kev will just pounce on him with five ships. Yeah. So he's taken the target lock on the one on the rock. Uh, for yeah, Vessery. So, for, so Vessery, Vessery can yeah light it up, but he he, he he shouldn't have done that. He should have focused because you don't need it. By the looks of things. No, it won't be fire control because the lock's on the wrong ship, isn't it? It'd be the vessel lock. Yeah, but you acquire the lock, don't you? Yeah, but he hasn't got fire control, he's got advanced sensors. On Rexler? On vessel. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry. Thanks. Thanks for your forgiveness. Appreciate it. Um. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a very good question. So um, people that aren't watching on Twitch wouldn't know what that question is. So. I'm going to say, I'm just thinking about it. So, uh, <laughs> so in your opinion... <laughs> Thank you, Rex. We are yeah, really focused yeah, yeah. on the game. But yeah, so... Um, yeah, in your opinion, the, does a two-ship list have a real place in the meta at the moment? That's all, that one's yours, Tim, because I don't believe in a meta. <laughs> you would. That's interesting. That's like, that's like not believing in evolution. <laughs> like well, that was a shit film. <laughs> like it's there. I need some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, Steve uh, share a, an, an in joke from the nineteen nineties. <laughs> um, we'll crack on answer that question. No, I think it's difficult. I think two ship two ship lists are very very difficult at the moment. Like Bob Aguri is doing really well. Um, like like but, like Bob Aguri is doing but really Bob well. Bob Fall on Polob's doing better. 
Is it? I mean, I think it's too short. I think it's too soon to say that, though. Really, like it, like Boba and Friends is is definitely an archetype, and then Boba and Guri, and I, I don't know which one is better. And my my inkling is the one that you're talking about is better, or Boba and three other ships, yeah, that yeah. kind of thing. Um, but yeah, Boba Guri definitely has a place, but I think that's just because of how wow. much weight Boba can pull. Um, three of age from Salty there. It's ridiculous. I wish I'm going to ignore you. Uh, so yeah, Marty, Captain Rex, thank yeah. you for that. So we're always good. Yeah. So um, there's no pain on those. No, I'm trying to think of this two two ship list question. So I think I think Bob Aguri's got a place. Um, other than that, it it's really difficult. Really, Is it, really. Has it though? Yeah, definitely. Because Bob Aguri, you block Boba and that, that he melts no so it depends on what you're going against because so you block Bobber and he ends up with focus on a reroll yeah but he, he, he just melts it's pretty cool yeah but he melts does he melt yeah. to what to me <laughs> fair enough you just <laughs> melt him um, so so and I think I think lists like this make it particularly difficult and I think we're going to see a rise in Sloan I think we think we're going to see a lot more Sloans on the board um, as people start to realise how good she is yeah um, and people start to acquire the ships to actually be able to play her. So you know, there could be people waiting for strikers that have tried to acquire strikers from other players or from sites that sell second hand ships, yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. Um so as we start to see people invest in Sloan, I think we're gonna see a lot more of her. And and two ships are certainly gonna have a hard time against the Sloan list. Uh, uh, so an absolutely hard time against Sloan. So is Sloan because Nordics was last weekend, wasn't yeah. it? Was Sloan a prominent feature of the uh, list? I think she was in the cut. I think there was definitely at least one Sloan. Yeah. I don't. I don't know really. Um, so yeah, Bridesmaid. But why? It is it just as easy to close down and focus for a single ship? It, it is. It <coughs> is. But with Sloan on the board, you're going to be double stressing yourself until you take. I don't know whether that's the question he's asking. Oh, right. I don't know whether you say, it, but but I think, um, I think that is a. So what you had in 1.0 with two ship lists was that they could either be so ridiculously offensive that they would just outright kill a ship. So lists were on average kind of two to three ships in in first edition. Yeah. So everybody brought kind of two to three ships. The the four ship lists, five ship lists were yeah. I thought it was in general. So so in one in 1 1.0 the the list average sort of number of ships was like two or three. It wasn't four or five, and if you, it was very easy through combinations of upgrades and pilot abilities to put a two ship list on the table that either absolutely just annihilated a ship off the board before it got to fire. So think of Nimranda or um, uh, Rack and Quick Draw. Yeah. Yep. So that's what they did. You know, they'd turn up, they'd take one of your ships off you, and then you couldn't do enough damage, and then they would do it again next turn, or they'd do it again in the next three turns. And they'd just snowball you and be off the yeah, table yeah. and have won. Um, or they could have ships that just wouldn't take damage. They were just like my my two ship list never takes damage. You know, there's Falcon regens and it and it um, and Poe regens yeah, and, yeah. and all and all the other stuff. Or you can't shoot um, Dash because he's either at range three behind a rock with two focus tokens, or you know he's he's off and you can't see him and don't have arc on him. Um, Whereas in one in two point oh they've done a really good job of stopping that. So like you put a two ship list on the table and and it's scared. You know, it's really yeah, scared. Yeah, it won't yeah. kill stuff fast and it will take damage if it gets shot at, particularly about you know particularly if by three, four, five ships um of your opponents. So the two ship lists that are gonna do well are either the ones that can brick a load of damage or be out of arc. So like like Bobber. So so Bobber can be out, out of out of arc, or he can, you know, put yeah. a lot of damage into a single ship and resist a lot of damage well, they've, back. They've, they've balanced, or Geary just dances around everything. They've balanced a lot of the ships out, so the smaller the base tends to be the more agility dice that you get. And I know that that was always a case in um, yeah. in the first version, but the second version is actually really because they've what they've done is they've nerfed a lot of the mitigation. Of damage, yes, and a yeah. lot of the just a lot of just the high offense. So, so you that that brings the focus back onto how many dice you roll, in a excuse me, in a, in a lot of respects. Yep. So, smaller ships, 
So let's say you want to put a two ship build on the, on the table, you're going to need something better than medium and big base ships because you're not going to get the agility to be able to tank that damage um, that maybe four or five ships are going to put into So, it. Is, to, is that, so is that what to an extent, I mean, if you look at... So I think, I think the Falcon is a few upgrades away from being really good. Yeah, well, I think there's only a couple of releases, and, and that could well, potentially be really good. Well, we've got the first order just, coming out and the well, uh, resistance, yeah, so you're going to see you, some Falcon upgrades there. I just mean in general because, like, you were talking about large base and medium base ships yeah, yeah. as part of a two ship list. So I think really what you want from a two ship list is, like I said before, you either want to be able to kill something really quick mm -hmm. um, and protect yourself that way. And again, I would argue whether that's even a viable strategy because killing one ship of three is massive killing one ship of four or five is not as big an advantage yeah, yeah. so so um or you want to be tanky or be able to avoid damage so there's stuff like the defenders where they can just be out of arc or they can focus evade so they're trying that 1.0 play style yeah. of having um or supernatural luke um or um um, what's the other thing I was thinking about so like the Falcon with its boost action um, and Bobber with his boost action can yeah. be and because they've got turret or a back arc they can still be shooting so they can kite and they can get out of the way and get out of arcs um, yeah I think there's a so I think you're right the agility doesn't help them um, but they could have other factors that mean that they just don't take damage or they yeah, don't yeah. take damage less often what I've seen with the with the Falcon uh, sorry with um, Bobber is the boost obviously it's an action that's uh, that's kind of a given really but Bobber if you don't have the right build it will, it will suffer from action economy I mean every, everyone's stapling Marauder on yeah so Marauder will give you that re-roll out of the bottom but and, and, a, and a focus from Han yeah and Han Gunner obviously is is pretty oh, much salty. Han Gunner is pretty much the go to I think oh he's a 4 k yeah, but he's got the bump. But he needs to kill Echo. He needed not to have killed that bomber, and he needs to kill Echo. So, Salty, Salty seems to be playing kind of for the turn. Like, he's playing the best he can do in that turn, yeah, rather yeah. than looking at how he wins the game. That's actually, might be some good feedback for him, actually. That might mm. help him, because I think you're right. Yeah. Um, and it is something that I've thought. He, he's very situational. He will play... And it's no slight on Salt because do you know what? If you know Salty, you know that he's a decent player, you know, and he's not he's not a mug. Um, but he does tend to kind of get caught up in what's going on at that moment rather than in two moves time. You know, so what what's going to give me the best? Maybe not for this turn, but for the next turn. Sorry, carry on. So squadrons with a decent player fly skill should win. And what was the one before? I missed it about Supernatural Luke. I was just saying he wanted to play. Um, Dallas was saying he wanted to play Supernatural Luke and two, uh, an X-wing and U-wing. So the the two tubes. He wants four yeah. tubes. Four tubes. Four tubes. Because four is the best number of tubes. Of course. Um, so he wants four tubes. I, I think that could be cool. That's definitely a cool. Yeah, I love the cool synergy little, between those little two. Little cool synergy yeah. combo list going on. Yeah, um, it's bonkers. Yeah, yeah. But um, okay, so there's another one gone. The Tie Fighter's gone. So who was that? So you, so at this point, he's just accepting that that like Vessery will never be without stress. At this moment in time, yeah. Because wow. Vessery, and that, to be fair, if I was playing super aggressive, I would be doing the same. I think. Do you know what? I ain't gonna be. I'm I mean, gonna he might win. Soon. He could. He could win for all this. Let's for just, all this stuff we've said, actually, yeah, he could win this game. To let's be fair. go down fighting because he's in the lead. Yeah, uh, yeah. He, he could. He could win this game. I think. Um, yeah, I, I think, think he's going to struggle once once Bessery goes down. He's going to struggle. Well, what I think I think what you'll see now is Rex to do the four K again. Yeah, then Rex or was, hard three. Re Rex was four K. Hard three one bang boost. That'd be nice. Rex was four K. But um, um, but but you could Vess see that Vessery could get dropped this time. But Vess would do a four K. Yeah, but he. he but he'll get an initiative shot because he's he's got initiative. So what, he'll get an initiative or? shot on Echo. I mean, Echo won't be there. He's going to collision detector through that debris. You reckon? It's going to be gone. 
But yeah, well, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you take him the other way though? I don't know whichever way. I mean, you can go whichever way he wants, really. He's. I mean, all that all that Kev's going to be looking to do here is have three shots on Vessery and Cohen. Basically. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. If so he you'd can still do that? I think he can get two because I think what what Salt has done. Right, Vessery. Let's be fair. Vessery has lasted two rounds longer than he probably should have. Yeah. Right. And that's caused Kev a few problems. Yep. Yeah. Right. So what you've got now is Kev hasn't got a formation anymore because he's split because of that rock. That's true. Um, so Salt Salt has now split his ships. Yep. Yeah. And they're facing in relatively different directions. Yep. Yeah. So Salt could with a bit of good flying cause a bit of damage here you know, oh yeah, and yeah maybe yeah, yeah. maybe pull another bomber off the table yeah potentially you know in the next couple of turns yeah, and yeah. then it's game on uh, yeah potentially I mean that, I think that's what Kev was going through Kev's head now is that um, is that if one more bomber goes down um, what does that put that's still put him below if he kills Vessery mm. but the problem is then is that Kev's really got to protect that other bomber against Rexler. Yeah, um, and Rexler with the see the thing for me with the bombers is because they've got no hull. Yeah, 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 right. All right. <laughs> That's why you win stuff and I don't. Um, Kev with Rex, sorry, Salt with Rexler, and those bombers without any hull to absorb any of those cards going through for flip ups. That's the. That's the weakness, I think, here. Mm. So Rex is going to be quite effective against the if he manages to get a few shots off. Well, well, I mean, if he can take, if he can kill another bomber before Vessery dies, then then all he's got to do is hound that last bomber. He just hounds that last bomber, and then he survives the double stress turn. Yeah, and then he's up on. Well, points. he's killboxing him now. He's killboxing. Vessery no, no, I'm now. saying, I'm saying if so, if Vessery kills that last bomber, yeah, yeah, before um, he dies. Then Kev just hunts the remaining bomber, so the final bomber, um, with with Rexler, and he, he just peps, he just hammers it with shots, hammers it with shots, and then looks to survive the double stress turn. Yeah. And then he, and then he's gone, um, because okay. that's the only way he wins the game. So, um, so maybe brute force was the answer. Maybe, maybe it was the answer. So is that three forwards? Or yeah. Four forwards. Yeah, three forward. So you'll you'll clear the stress, clear one stress. And then he's got a range one shot. So and then four K. So he's gonna double tap that bomber. So there's the two bank. Yep. So I'm guessing Kev collision detected that, did he? Yeah, and he I'm did, assuming yeah. I'm assuming yeah, he spent the charge as well. So he didn't have to spend the charge because when you collision detect a decloak through a rock, yep. um, you only roll for damage. So in that case he doesn't take the stress from the debris. Um, because there are different effects depending on if you do a manoeuvre through it or if you do yeah, yeah. any other kind of move through it. Cool. So, But the reason he spent the charge, and I, and I know this because he told me last game, the reason he spent the charge is because he's got um, stealth device, so he doesn't want to lose the stealth device to a random crit, oh, okay. where I, I think he could have gone with that, really. Yeah, it's one in eight chance, isn't it? Yeah, but okay. they, they happen <laughs> all the time. So Salt looks like he's hit with two there. Yep. Looks uh, like a bit of an evade going on. Oh, it's fire control. So two hits and a crit. I mean, he could take, he could kill that bomber. Oh, maybe okay. not. So he spent the evade. Is that an evade? Oh, focus. Spent the focus. So he duked it. Yeah. So Rexler duked, and then, um, <coughs> and then he had to spend the focus. So he took no damage on that bomber. Hmm. Is that one already? Oh, no, was dead. So yeah, he took no damage on that bomber. So now he's going to so get four one with a target, with lock, target lock because of Vesser's ability. So two, yeah. So it takes one. Yep. All right, two crits. So there's the crit gone through. Yep. Hello, Scott Bryant. Hello, welcome to the stream. Hi, Scott. How you doing? Um. So what was the crit? So damage engine. So all hards uh, increase. Yeah, I mean that's the the red anyway. I think on the bottom. I think it's got like the two. I don't think that crits that bad unless you've got it on an ace. Yeah, oh, it's crippling on some ships, but the one that the, the one that I really hello, really... Ian A Wright. Oh, Ian 11. Wright. Yeah, Ian yeah. Wright. Right. Um, yeah. So Ian was here a couple of weeks ago. So what have we got there? So Kev's. This is um, echo into. Yeah. So yeah. two hits and a crit. Yeah, and he's going to juke one as well. There we go, that's dead Rexler. 
so two. Yep. With the Duke. Yep. So Kev's now got half an hour to kill two bombers to win the game. Kev. And yeah. So Kev's got half an hour to kill two bombers to win the game. That should be the best way yeah, it's gone. So um yeah, Nerf Herder's coming up, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I, I want to talk about that. Yeah, yeah you're not going, are you? No, I'm not going. Um, we got busy, we've got a busy one. November, though, one. dude. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've, I've managed to make the double. I'm here for both days. Oh, what? The, 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 oh, yeah, me, that's the awesome. the weekend warlord. So I've never done that before, so I'm here for both days. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, that's, that's good. So I'm going to do that, yeah. And But, uh, you know, I have a busy home life, so... Of course you do, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, because I'm single. I'm in the Paul Heaver position, where I'm managing young children and... Um, and a wife and yeah, work and, and everything and else effective on, so. name dropping it seems sorry effective name dropping it seems. <laughs> well Paul Heaver <laughs> oh that's what he does but he's, he's much better than me because he turns up and wins stuff so mate don't even go there with that what like three world championships yeah well I'm just yeah. <laughs> Paul who exactly so um, yeah so basically I was saying like so Kev's got half an hour uh, sorry Salty's got half an hour to yeah. kill two bombers um, if you can catch one that isn't at range three of um, Sloan, then that would be amazing. But so Kev knows that, so Kev will be looking. Even if it means he doesn't get shots, yeah. he'll be looking at keeping them at range. Um, yeah, three uh, of Sloan. And, and with the fact that he's got the cloak, the cloak. Yeah, because if he can take the shields off, so if he can sacrifice one of those bombers to take the shields off Rexler, then he then he's winning. Yeah. Then I think he wins the game if he yeah. does that. So, okay, well, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, we have Paul Heaver, so 1.0. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I think he's only done one 2.0 major event so far. But yeah, he is. He's so 1.0. And where did he Who's come that in that? Oh, he didn't do very exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah, do Paul who? <laughs> yeah. No, the, 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 I say I'm Paul, not I'll say him. Paul Hoover. He is, he is a yeah, legend. He is. Uh, but do you know what? It's friendly legend. rivalry. It's UK versus America, isn't it? So... Uh, and it's absolutely. I, I think I'm the only warlord that doesn't subscribe to that. But yeah, it's only um, maybe, but it's just fun. <laughs> You've seen what Simeon does in the bloody crates group. Oh, I, yeah, but they deserve, just pure... they deserve that. So it's fine. <laughs> so what do you mean they deserve? That? They do deserve that. They they give as good as they get. Yeah, they do. They do. <laughs> They're fair. It's it's a good it's good banter to be fair. It is. Yeah, yeah and it is Sim is just savage. Yeah, to anybody that don't know, that doesn't don't know, to anybody what don't know, to anybody what don't know, yeah, listen good, right? Listen good, because Tim's going to tell you some um, some lyrics. Right. He's going to yeah. going to gonna some spit some bars. bars. Yeah, it's going to some ba- some Barnsley bars. Some Barnsley bars. He's gonna, <laughs> some Barnsley bars. He's going to do it, you know. So, um, so the, the crates in their infinite wisdom made Simeon a moderator on their um, admin. Admin, Not sorry, just a moderator, yeah, no, sorry, admin. admin. Admin on their on their home page on their homepage on Facebook. So now, at the early hours of the morning, Sim will change their profile picture while to what everyone wants while they're all asleep and change the title of their group to what everyone wants. Well, it, it turned into, what was it, Weekend Warlords anime group at one point, didn't it? <laughs> it's it just... it's every, every week it changes to yeah, something yeah. different. So. But they love it and they, they love Sim. So. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it's all good. Nerf Herder, talk to me about Nerf Herder. Uh, yeah, so I wasn't going to go. Um... Because November's really busy for X-Wing for us guys down here. Um, we'll talk about that in a sec. But um, Nerf Herder is quite possibly the premier non-official FFG event. It's massive, isn't it? It's like 150 X-Wing. players or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's huge. Um, we get wrestling belts as the top prize. Well, the, the Delapinas do. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> um, so Carl Walker, who runs that, he's he's doing that for. What charity um, is it? Say again. What charity is it? Yeah, it's the it's for the whole children's ward, whole Royal Infirmary children's ward, and the money will go towards. I think it's like something like machinery and toys and games, and, you know, just things that they need. Things that they need. Um, which is really cool, and he changes the charity every year. Um, last year was a, a charity for a, a local family to him that had lost their daughter while she was on a school trip abroad. Um, so they set up uh, a charity for bereaved parents yeah. and, and stuff like that. Um, and do you know what? Uh, sorry to get a bit morbid on this, but um, you should never outlive your kids. Hmm. You should never outlive your kids. You know, and that's a, I can't imagine 
if, if I had to go through that with one of my kids, I don't think that I'd be able to cope with that. So, um, great cause, great, not a cause as such, but a great reason, I think. Oh, yeah, it's a great reason for everybody yeah. to come together. And um, I mean, you play, people would pay, tournament, pay money for the tournament anyway. So, yeah. it's amazing that Carl is organising that, and that so is going towards a worthwhile thing and investment into people's lives and making people's absolutely, lives absolutely you know yeah, and I it's agree. and it went to um it's it's moved because i was at nerf last year and it was my first nerf herder and it was just phenomenal the event was phenomenal there was so much of a laid-back atmosphere the auction rasta painted a ship to get auctioned off it made about four or five hundred quid wow. for the charity you know it was it was amazing um lee dalton was there with his hand in his pocket don't know what he was doing with his hand in his pocket, <laughs> but you know he was there all the same. Um, questionable. But yeah, well he was smiling, so I don't think it was that questionable. Um, so, um, but Nerf this year because it's outgrown its base in Hull, um, it's actually moved to Element Games in Stockport. So right. we should be able to. I mean, we went to the regional there. I don't know whether you went. To I, I didn't. So know. we went. I went to the regional there earlier this year. Um, and I think there was in the region of around about 150, 160 players. Wow. So um, there is a Facebook page for that. I'm sure Carl won't buy, uh, mind me sort of saying what it is. So it's called Nerf Herder with a Vengeance. So he's, yeah. he's doing it after the Die Hard well, stuff. Been, it was Nerf Herder. Nerf it was Nerf Herder. Herder to, um, Nerf Herder Nerf, to... Nerf, um, Nerf Herder. Oh, because Die Harder, Nerf isn't it? Harder so or something. Word, it? Yeah, Nerf Harder, probably something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah. now Nerf Herder with a Vengeance. Yeah. Um, and do you know what? Anybody who is anybody tries to go to that event. Yeah. You know, it's a premier event. I haven't made it yet. No, I, I do, I do want to go. That's because you know My that. apologies to Carla. So a premier that. event along the lines of, uh, sorry, along the this current status and the stature, if you like, of the UK Nationals. Okay. Um, the UK Nationals, the Euros that we just saw go by, and maybe not the system open because that was like 500 players, but yeah, um, you know, it, it's, it's it's a, a big, worthy it's cause. The big, it's, it's the, the biggest, biggest non FFG, yeah, non official event in, this in the country. country. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you can get there, I, I don't know whether there's still some tickets available because I think that last week, um, Carl we'll posted have, up there was eight available. We'll have a look if you want to go, yeah, have yeah. a look, check it out because, yeah. Fill that place up. Get as many as we want. We want to yeah. put it where you want, salty. Yeah, put it where you want, salt. Put yeah. it wherever you want. We saw that. You're ham-fisted, <laughs> crazy man. So um, it's thirty quid a yeah, ticket. Yeah, just go. But all just, that if you, money. If you're thinking, of, you're thinking you want to do it, and there are tickets left, just go. Just do it. And to be it's... fair, Element Games have put on a load of side events. They're doing a. Uh, oh, the prize support's amazing. They're well. doing, yeah, the prize support's amazing. Everybody who is anybody in X Wing who runs a shop donates something. Yeah. Players donate, all art cards all over the place, you know. Um, so I think you're going to see advanced sensors. Yeah, I can in. say he's not really used it yet, has he? No, but he could well, he potentially. Won't. He have... won't, because he's got Rex. It's got Rex. Now. Yeah, Rex has got. Oh, Rex hasn't got the advanced sensors. Boo, salty. Um, so yeah, Nerf heard it's thirty quid. It's two days. It is incredible. Uh, if you can get there, fine. Do you know what? Even if you haven't got a ticket, but you're in the area, just take some time. Yeah, just yeah, put oh, your yeah, head Because you can donate on the day. Yeah, yeah, you, you can, can yeah. go and you yeah. can join in. Lots so I of don't. Other stuff. I don't have a so ticket you... as such. I'm in a privileged position. Well, we're in a privileged position at Warlords where Carl puts us a load of tickets to one side because he knows that we're all going to turn up en masse. He does the same for T-Squadron as well. Yeah. Um, and that's not about favouritism. It's because we've always supported it. Yeah. So he looks after us in the way we look after him. That's quite kind of cool. Um, but... Oh, so Vestry's gone. Oh, no, no, Vestry's gone. Sorry. Carry on. But do you, <laughs> Sorry. But do you know what? It's, it's actually a really, really um, quality tournament and um, with a bigger venue... Um, so sorry, I was saying about um, Element Games. It's I've, I think I saw somewhere online that he was going to put on like side events uh, for things like Keyforge as well. Oh, okay, so there cool. might be a Keyforge oh, right. pre-release side event Ooh, going on. Excellent. So that that's probably going to be on the Sunday though when the cut's going on. So um, you know, it's 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 amazing. So that's Nerfer. That's the tenth. Sorry. Uh, that, that's the 10th of November, 10th, 11th of November. The week after that 
is the weekend warlords yeah. monthly weekend yeah. that we always we'll find do. Our, our new our two new veterans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we have to have two new ones, we even have if to. even if Dave and uh, Rasta win it again. Wow, three crits from Salt there. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Uh, if that's the structural damage um, scimitar, then that's that's a that's massive. Yeah. If it is, that's Ooh, massive because it's out of Sloan range. Direct hit there as well. It's out of Sloan range as well. Yeah. So a Sloan ranger. Yeah, I mean, if that was a fuel leak as well, oh my god! Yeah, it's oh just killed god. it. I think. I think that's game to salty. So brute force was the answer, everybody. You didn't need to be a scalpel. Bruce for brute force. He hasn't Bruce, just won the game. Bruce Forsyth. Bruce Forsyth. Yeah, was the uh, answer. <laughs> so <laughs> you, you uh, I think so. Salty. So we're gonna have an absolutely amazing end game because salty has to kill that um, bomber. Yeah. So salty has to kill that. I mean, they've not updated so no the damage. points. Let's have a look. Bomber. Well, Kev's doing that now. Um, so, is it, is it 74, yeah, 91. So, yes, yeah, so, oh, so it was the so it's the Oh, no, it had taken damaged engine. Back, so, yeah. I can't see it on the bottom of my window. Um, so, yeah, the Weekend Warlords tournament. I'm not sure whether there's any tickets left for the Sunday. I think there might be a few for Saturday. But I'm really pleased that you're oh, doing both just, just, I, was, I know, I, oh, I've told you, haven't I? I was going to yeah. say, just for everybody that was on Tenter Hooks like, two weeks ago when we yeah. were talking about it, I have got my ticket. I got my yeah, ticket. Yeah, so cool. thank you for not buying them until after I've got mine. <laughs> That's, fair brilliant. Point, fair That's point. brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, so that'll be good because, so yeah, Dave Amos and Rasta are our first yeah, two veterans. Yeah, first two veterans. Um, which is really, really cool. Um, now, just on that format, there's going to be 24 veterans over 12 months. So yep. one on the Saturday, one on the Sunday yep. per month. Yep. And the next 10 of MOV, the best MOV over the year. Yeah. So that rewards loyalty. Yeah. Yep, yep. So even if you go three and three. Hello. If you go three and three, hold on. Hello, Rasta is with us. If we go if you go three and three over the next year, every every tournament yeah. you enter, you've got a good shout at getting one of those veterans tokens. Because yes, the twenty four yeah. players that yeah, win yeah, or, yeah, or yeah, get definitely. those tokens. They're yeah. eliminated from that MOV. Yeah. So I don't know what point in the game I've just walked in, but I know from outside this was the point where Kev started to make excuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Started yeah. going, ah, well, there's no. a fuel leak, followed by this, oh, followed was. by that, yeah, no, 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 followed no, no. by there was well. a strong wind <laughs> in the east. So that was Salty's role, yeah. and then he killed a bomber, like in one, So and it was you out of Sloan range. So Salty is doing all the things that we're saying he needed to do to close this game out. But Salty, Salty has to kill that last bomber to win. To win, right? But he, well, no, he's, Salty's going to win. He, he might, he might, points. it depends on how well... Yeah. If he takes, can if he takes half uh, points on it, dude, then that'll put him on. What's happening? What's happening? Uh, Kev's squad. Yeah, the Skimitar's yeah. lost a uh, hole. Yeah, it's and the Echo's though, untouched. Well. Yeah, but it's structural damage as well. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah nice. he's got to, He's got to find a way to get rid of that bomber. And I don't well, he's going to 4K. Yeah, but so, hold on. What's that bomber got? Just barrage rockets. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 4K focus fade. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like really not hard. No. No, no, I'm saying Kev's got the hard. Kev's got the. Oh, right, Kev's... Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 4K, Focus Evade, yeah. Smash Mash. I think the only thing Kev could do, Oh, my God, and Echo's moving after Fuses. Who can outfly who? Uh, well, I oh, think Rexler left. Right. It's Rexler. I, I think generally so, Kev can outfly Salt, but with the build and the actual ships that are on the table, I defenders think Defenders are insanely yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, think Salt is the uh, Please, 4K the Salt. You don't have done something stupid. Yeah, there it is. So, um, good boy. Fox what what Salty could do Perfect. is he could try and take like one shield off with the bomber, and then um, when he's double stressed, try and get the rest of the shield so he's half point. Oh, he target locked. Yeah. Try and get the rest of the shield so he's he half pointed, Duke, and he's got fire control system. Is that through that rock? I don't know. I don't know. So we were just talking about how good Nerf Herder was. Uh, how, Nerf, how good Nerf Herder is and how great it is that the community come together. The last two were just incredible. Yeah. So, yeah. And we were talking about how you would get another wrestling match. <laughs> yeah, there, well, Steve said... I'm thinking Steve actually says, actually for this time, because we talked about it last time, <laughs> I am thinking about us both turning up in dressing gowns and our belts. <laughs> That's amazing. So, well, I could bring a PA Steve, system. Steve says the prizes for them are amazing. Music you, get, you get a wrestling belt. I said if your surname's Delapina. You get a wrestling belt. <laughs> or you win Worlds. Or Euros. <laughs> exactly. Or, or both. Um, yeah, no. I'm feeling so, you won, so you won it in the year. You won it in the year you won Euros, and Sim won it in the year you won yeah. World. So if you are listening, Scarlet, yeah, yeah, buy yeah, a ticket because if you win Nerf, <laughs> Herder, if you yeah. win Nerf, yeah. Herder, it's me or Sim will win Worlds. Yeah. Awesome. No, no. If no, you win no. Nerf, what? No, it doesn't matter who wins. OSC. Nerf that almost right. guarantees you a win at a major. Nah. Well, that's right. It does. That's what you're saying. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what you need to do. Win <laughs> Nerf Herder, and then you then know, the world's your oyster. No, no. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty obvious you know? that next year I win Worlds because 
this year Worlds was won by a dirty freeloader who didn't pay for his flight or his hotel room <laughs> so, yeah, because of someone's generosity. So as you're and next, year, next year, I'm going to be the dirty freeloader. <laughs> so, um, so I'm going to win Worlds. And I'm going to do it barefooted. Um, I'm going to put my hair in a man bun. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Stand up chairs. Stand and I'm going to laugh at Denise Howard the whole time I do it. Yeah. And his butler. <laughs> <laughs> what was his, the butler's name? I don't care. Oh, no, that's it. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, awesome. There you go. Has he even used HLC? Uh, probably yet? not. No. I don't know. No, he I, might I, have done with one shot. He might have done with one shot. He should have used yet. it then. He might use it now. He's already shot. I wonder if he remembered he even had HLC. Pro- Let's probably, remind him. That's probably it, not. Probably not. <laughs> he did, We're yeah. not going to rewind the Sorry. game back. So. You know you could have shot with HLC then. That's the second time I've got. <laughs> And the episode is just confirmed. And Kevin's forgot. just laughing, going, "Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> teacher excuses." Oh, you're on half term. Oh, what a gamey kid! All right, yeah. So, right, let me is, get. A chair. So, this is interesting. You get a chair, right? So, um, so the Minox, um, they've been having daily discussion threads and Facebook, and I, I, I missed this one because I, I only caught up his checking to see if he could have had it. Yeah, could. totally could so, have had it. So, Whoa, so what I told what, you so about the, the sim rule FFG. Sorry to come across you there, Tim. This is big news. You're not allowed to barefoot in the venue anymore. Yeah, but what we're going to do is we're going to get those sticky plastic things you put on the bottom of your feet. <laughs> so technically, so he's not barefoot. Won't be barefoot. I will be bare top side of my foot I'm like bare so that would be kind of like you know one of those ladies that wears the revealing dress yeah. and you kind of think you're going to see a bit, a bit of booty bit of side boot. but they've got the sellotape yeah. with a bit of the sellotape yeah. on yeah. but I've got the sellotape on the feet <laughs> so, and, think, um, so for those people that think they might see a bit of toe <laughs> yeah, it never like, quite falls I don't out. know if you've ever met me Tart and James it's, but, it's Finlayson it's alright I know <laughs> I just want to be a dick to all right, fair, I don't on. know if you've ever met me but um People telling me to do things doesn't often end with me actually doing what they tell me. So, <laughs> Fair. fairly fairly true that, isn't so, it, yeah, really? Yeah. Going back to that situation, right? So the Minox, I mean, I vaped at Worlds. So the, 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 the Minox have a, a daily discussion thread, and I missed it, and I missed it when they were talking about it on the podcast. But the question they asked was, what, um, what gamesmanship things do you do at the table, and what level of gamesmanship do you think is, is okay at the table like I honestly think in tournament it is not a gamey it's not my responsibility to remind my opponent of what he just does Fair. that's his it's his thing I mean unless we're at that point where something's a must and we both have to apply it at that point yep. in the game fine but generally if you've missed the trigger or you're missing a synergy I don't need to remind you about it that's not being gamey that's your business to know how yeah. your list yeah, works I, it's part of being a top player is understanding what you're going against and what you've got yeah. so what about um, stuff like how you <clears throat> how you present yourself at the table so I certainly um, think you know there, there's like you know like when so for example someone's like set up he's got two ships same pilot skill one in front of the other the one behind it, he's, he's dialed in a move that he'll move a little bit, but it's going to bump into the back gun. And the one at the front, so the, the one at the front, he flips his dial and he goes, oh no, hold on, I want to move that one first. Well, it's not affecting anything. Just let him move that one. Yeah. So, yeah? Yeah. so that, that's where you kind of like need to be a bit of a human being and going, no, nah, it's cool. Or like when the guy goes, okay, I'll flip my dial. I'm going to do a one bank. Oh, oh uh, R2-D2. Cool, let him do his R2-D2. Just because he didn't exactly at that second... As long as it's not going to affect the game or make you have to rewind the state, I, don't, I think you should be a little uh, I, bit. I, I a agree, little I bit, agree with you. And that's, what, that's why we li- love you. A and little that is, bit. Like, just that a, is the ethos of the Warlords, I think. Because, do you um, know what, right? Like, you want to like win fairly yeah, and know that I really bested you. I didn't beat you just because I yeah. twisted and bullied and pressured. I've seen people rush people in yeah, games I agree. I don't and think make right. them miss cues. Yeah, I don't and the minute they right. realise they've missed the cue, not necessarily because of their own fault, their opponent's like, no, you've missed your trigger, too late, knew full well what they were doing, totally and utterly out of order. If, if that's what you need to do to win a tournament, you know what? You, you crack on, but I ain't got no time for you and you're the sort of person that I shake your hand and I just walk away from you. Yeah, Bryce May just said enjoy it first, win second. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Think I agree with all that. And it's not, it's people not a winner talk about. Thing. Right, no, it's not, like, people like, used to talk about fly casual. So anyone listening to that, this kind of knows that. who I am or who Simeon is, knows that we've won a lot of shit, right? A lot of stuff. So winning's lovely. I'm not the guy that's going to sit here and go, yeah, winning was all right, it happened, but the main thing was being nice. 
the main wow. things playing well and being nice at the same time. And that, if you win... That bomb has just picked up a whole breach and a fuel leak as well. Now. That's Is like an dead, amazing though? bonus. I don't know how that bloody bomb is not dead. No, no, it's not dead. But Salt's now got half on it, so it's just the win. Um, Ian Wright, Ke sorry Ke to Ke cut across. Ke Ian Wright has basically dead. said, what's your thoughts on the system? No, open, no, moving, um, moving I, I'm a relevant teams. player. Do Paul Heaver's who? Who uh, Heaver? Yeah, exactly. That's what well, I he wasn't know. even good enough to play a twelve-year-old what's your, girl. What's so, your thoughts on the system open moving to Milton Keynes? Questions. Can we get Can we get to that in a minute? Because I just wanted to talk about. So there was a situation. You know, you're saying about like um, the bother me. No, 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 okay. no. We'll go back to Milton Keynes. So, so um, do we have to? You know, there was a situation about like, oh, it's not my list and stuff. So there, there was a situation that I, I spoke to Sim about actually, yeah. which is quite interesting. Like trying to remember it was, and it was a situation in 1.0 where you bump a ship with um, Zebarellius crew. Yep. Yeah. So and then you you look and you through forget to mention your, to them you've got well, Zeb when yeah. they act. So you're talking so you're talking through your options as the player that bumped into him and you say you're going right so I can't shoot that ship because um, I'm I'm touching it and then you go and then your opponent kind of goes and like shrugs or nods or does something to kind of confirm what you're saying to them right and then you go on and measure to other ships and then um, and then you go right well I can't shoot him so I'll shoot this guy over here. Right, um, is that an acceptable level of gamesmanship, where you are deliberately keeping quiet or trying to do something that doesn't give away the fact that they can shoot your ship because of uh, because of the upgrade card that's on your side of the table that is miles away from them that they might not be able to read? Like, is that mm, an that's a really like, hard that an, one? Yeah, yeah, that's that's that's, that's kind a of a really you know, like, hard is, one. Is that I've an acceptable level of? Um, no, I've of personally done or, that to someone exactly that scenario. Yeah. Where I've had, I've fought someone at a regional in Cardiff where he bumped two of his TIE fighters into my chopper that yeah. had Zeb crew. And I let him get on with it. And he measured and he shot at a guy behind and then Zeb lit him up at range one. I'm not sure that really is being gamey. In no, some no, I'm not asking you. I, I, no, 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 I, I no, didn't no, know I, you'd done that. So I wasn't no, asking I'm you not, to defend it. I'm just. No, no, no. Uh, but I'm not sure. Yeah, just I get what you mean. Kind of I get how it could maybe sit a bit uneasy, but. Ultimately, you should have, as a good sportsman, you should have taken the time to look through each other's lists yeah. first. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, yeah. If you're kind of newer to the game and you're struggling with what your opponent's list, you could say to him, can I have your written out copy to keep on my side of the yeah. table? I often do that. And I can, especially do ask... that now in 2.0 where the points yeah. are really important. Yeah. And you can ask questions throughout the game as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But, and I think it depends on the level of competition as well, doesn't it? Because, yeah, it does. Because if that's totally. kind of like the first... Ra at first first round of a, of a store championship in that situation you might be inclined to go no you can shoot don't forget you can yeah, shoot yeah, yeah, totally. whereas if it's like if round, the final round of five yeah, yeah, yeah. The fine, no, even no. just the round five even just round five of a region a missed, you need a missed to get trigger through. is a missed trigger uh, it's a little bit different to a missed trigger because so it's not really a missed trigger that's you not understanding you're, that you could have shot it yeah you're bringing yeah. you're bringing a card that changes the rules for both players yeah, yeah? but you're so I can understand kind of keeping Tim's quiet about it because both ways. so it actually changes the whole game rules for both players. We've all been involved, than, yeah, but we've but all I been involved with, I agree in with, lots I agree of games. With Rasta. And yeah, most yeah. of the time, you're not doing it on purpose. But we've all been involved in lots yeah. of games where one of the common comments that comes out is, "Oh, I forgot about that." I mean, yeah, you oh, it tonight, happens all like, the time. Oh, I forgot I had HLC. Twice. It happens all the time. You know, yeah, but it does happen all the time because the thing is, we're all at the moment as well. We're in this new zone of X Wing. Yeah. Where there is so much stuff oh, to yeah, remember that wasn't there to yeah, remember. Definitely. Do you know, like, I've been using Leap Crew. Do you know how many times I forget Leap? Every time I want to use Leap, <laughs> they do the big roll, and then I go, ah! Oh! And then I go to roll my green. And they go, oh, hold on, stop! <laughs> Leap! Re roll your dice, yeah. right? And, yeah. I've, and because we're practicing, everyone's kind of cool with it. I know that generally in tournament, if I'd gone past that point and already picked up dice, there's no rewinding. But. We are at that kind of stage in 2.0 yeah. where we should all... You know, look, this was what I banged on about in 1.0. Yes, I've won stuff, but also I get nowhere by not helping anyone get yeah, better. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, by yeah, helping people yeah, get better at the game, as awesome without that, improved me well, as a player. Well, me get better. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> we should look at it sing how I'm much improved you right. made. Yeah, it's all right. I, I can say bullshit to Steve. My name is George. It's not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, But it really does help. So, salty boost. 
wrong with you, Rude? What boost? No, no, that's just his. That's, boost. From, the, that's from the boost. Uh, boost. Yeah, Good boy. Well done, Good boy. You do not take unnecessary shots if you don't have to in two points. No, and all sort he's got to do is run the clock down as well. Yep. He's, a, he's in a position where he can pressure. And pressure he could put, yeah, he could put more on it because of the. He, he could probably take that, that bomber off the board as well, can't he? So, um, are we ready to talk about Milton Keynes? Uh, yeah. Uh, look, yeah. Uh, where yeah, exactly in Milton Keynes is it? Don't know. Because the port, the venue had been. Oh, will it not be where? Um, I don't know. That's UKTC. Oh, yeah, that Apparently, UK it's near the football ground. You know, the, the hockey stadium. Right. Well, do you know what? Apparently, that's where it is. This is the system. Open. So, what's going to be at um, Birmingham I, then? At what? Sorry. What's going to be at? Birmingham, oh, yeah, well, nothing yet. We don't know about that. We don't know. It'll be a right. team hyper. So look, right, Con uh, it's next to the stadium. Um, super booster. I think Milton Keynes is a great idea. I personally think Birmingham is the only place it should ever be held, and I get that that suits people that are from the Midlands really well. Yeah, so but ultimately, we must include the top end of the country and the bottom end of the country. Yeah, it's better. So for London people, London you shouldn't have any precedent. And people in Newcastle, you shouldn't have any precedent. It's the same difference. Equidistant centre of the country really is Birmingham. And if we unless there was somewhere in and Derby. if we are saying that Dar we Derby is actually <laughs> classed as the centre of the country. <laughs> okay, but Birmingham's got the better facilities. Yeah. So and and it's close enough to Derby, really, to call it central. Yeah. So right. East East Coast guys are a bit happier. Uh, about I think it. he's right about that because of and no no but I get that. Like, but you've got to east think. West in this country what about right the guys there. coming from Scotland yeah. who are actually a bit more pissed now because they've got an extra hour and a half on their journey. Yeah. So. As much as it's going to make some set of people happy, it's going to make other sets of people unsad. I'm not the guy, I'm never going to be the guy that's going to jump on and go, oh, it's not where I wanted it. I'm not going. <laughs> I love X Wing. Yeah. X Wing's my social life, it's where my family is, it's where my friends is. You could hold the fucking thing on the moon and I'm going. And I'll be there an hour before it starts and I'll be there until all the tables have been pulled down and I shook every TO's hand. And yeah. that's just the way I do it. So. I don't really care. It's all a much of a muchness debate. I've got to be honest. I bet you there'll be cheaper food in Milton Keynes than there will be fair. in Birmingham. Yeah. That's completely right? fair. What yeah. about considering this? Right, there, there was a lot of European guys travelled over for the System Open. Yeah, this year. Mil yeah. Milton I, Keynes hasn't really got that kind of travel. No, link. but Milton Keynes, I suppose, to the travel links out from London ain't going to be massive either. So you travel the day before, you'd maybe but a, a, a train into Milton Keynes yeah. hotel, yeah. train back out. Yeah. Milton Keynes is all mainline train, isn't it? Into London, yeah, yeah, into definitely. the airports, yeah. into all well, of that. So that makes me sad because how are we going to beat? How is the someone from the UK going to beat a Dutch? I mean, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on. Watford, yeah. surely Watford <laughs> Airport. How far is bloody? Is it Watford Airport? I don't, Watford, I don't know. Who you're right, Watford, yeah. um, the one that's on the M1, going down the M1 past Milton Keynes. Uh, uh, geography is not my strong No idea. Tartan James, what's the, the the airport as you come out of London on the M1 before Milton Keynes? Luton. Luton, thank you. Luton Airport. Luton Airport's not far from Milton yeah, Keynes. Yeah. It's no, like point. 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So they could plane into Luton, taxi to their hotel yeah. done. I, 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 mean, I don't I, think I, there's I, any I agree difference. With you. It's going to be where it is. Yeah. I mean, London is a nightmare to get into. Oh, London But we'd still nonsense. go. Yeah. <laughs> we'd all fair. stay at my yeah. mum's. We'd still yeah. go. But we you would. Know, we'd yeah. all stay at my mum's. It is a nightmare. I'd love to bring so 40 people to I, I just want to sort of talk about one more thing before the game ends. Because um, well, when you came in, we were talking about the events in November. And we talked about Nerf. We've talked about the Warlords veteran. Um, for Ashley um, Taylor, Kidney that's the one Bill, which we haven't really spoken which about. Which is the week after. It's two it's weeks last, after Nerf Herder, one week after yeah. Warlords. So it's the last weekend in November. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, hold on. So twenty fourth. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We have yeah, twenty fourth, twenty fifth. So Nerf Herder is tenth and eleventh. Yeah. Warlords is seventeenth and eighteenth, and yes, Ashley Taylor is the twenty fifth or the twenty fourth. One of the two, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. just check with Ash. Just quickly. So, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, Ash, wow. is it Ashley big, tournament big Saturday or the Sunday? Come on. Sunday. So it's right, so Sunday the 25th. So, um, we don't, for those that don't quite the know. The event is up on the Warlords page. 
Cool. So the events up on the Warlords page, and the ticket is an, is actually a donate on the GoFundMe page. Yes, isn't it? correct. Yeah, and it, it, yeah, if you donate and and then write a detail when you donate that is for yeah. a ticket. Uh, Tanya's keeping tabs on who it is. Yeah. It's thirty eight player event. Yeah. On a Sunday. Capped at 38. Capped 10 at pound entry. 10 pound entry, yeah. All the money goes to their charity. All the money goes straight in. We'll have a little raffle on the day. There'll be all sorts going on. Be a cool. nice little day. So, guys, um, we've we've done some charity events here before. Uh, and if you've ever been to Warlords before, yeah. you kind of know. will be announced soon. Nice. Oh, oh, yeah. Princess Leia um, Make-A-Wish one will be announced soon. Um, but if you've ever been to kind of uh, just even a Saturday Sunday tournament before at Warlords, you that. you kind of know what to expect. It's and charity right, it? and charity <laughs> events tend to have a little bit more of that kind of relaxed atmosphere. I don't yeah, so we can get like, quite competitive. I do sometimes. appeal to those of you going to Nerf Herder to. So this is not an appeal for me saying to you lot. Oh, don't bring anything competitive. That's not what I'm saying. Bring your competitive list. Everyone's going to bring competitive stuff. Everyone wants to win a tournament. But remember that you are at. A charity event and that your behavior should reflect where you are it is as simple as that you should be thinking about oh, oh salty yeah sorry you, you should be thinking about kind of the situation you're in as opposed to just doing everything in your power to best the other the guy on the other side of the table because it's the most important thing in the world it's not everyone having a really nice weekend is the most important thing in the world raising a lot of money for charity is one of those things as well yeah that's it if you happen to win nerf herder or do well at it well done good luck i'll support you we'll all support you but don't like bring your super duper i'm at nationals gamey gamey git i'm going to argue about every little thing head yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just not cool people want to go to that event play with great players but also have a really relaxed lovely fun laughable yeah. enjoyable weekend yeah, yeah. you know you've got to you've got to tailor your manner and your behavior to your environment yeah so I agree. I agree. This isn't you in the Lions, then in no. bloody Carthage. No, but we no. we have um we have a real good time here when when we do some for somebody else. Yeah, this is absolutely. just for me personally. Yeah. When we do as warlords, when we do something for somebody else, we always come together as a unit and we try and inject that bit of kind of relax, that bit of fun. I mean, like you guys you can know. see that any of you that have been to our tournaments will know that on a Saturday and Sunday, when everyone who's in here really wants to win. There's never judge calls. There's never no. arguments. Once in a blue moon, you'll get a judge call, and it is purely for, can you just like call arc this arc? Yeah. It's too tight to call. That is it. We don't have that here, but yet you can play incredibly competitively without being an actual douchebag. Yeah, you can. you can. So, just to interject, what an end to this game, right? Kev, Kev has fine. got this round. He's got... He's got one and a half minutes now, so he's only got this round to take one shield off Rexler. Yeah. To win. So Rex, Rex Please needs to slow Rex roll this, doesn't one. he? <laughs> that would be amazing. Amazing. Is that uh, okay? Though? Well, I think the. No. Or if he's free forwarded, Kev's in so much trouble. It, it might well be. So that that's what might we're have doing. Three banked this way to be yeah, fair. Yeah. So sorry. That, rolls out. That's what we're doing in um, November. We'd love to see. What have you guys. done? What has he done? I'm so excited. He's spent all his collision detect charges because if he hadn't done that, he'd have been on that rock and just shooting him. Whoa. Oh no, oh, sorry! Oh, you oh. fucking donor. So, you oh, know. Barrel roll out of the arc. Barrel roll out of the arc. Can you get it to the right? Yeah. Yeah. So, if you can get to Will us, going back to the event. Salty, take my energy! If you can, if you can get oh, to don't us. Don't do American <laughs> things in here. I will pin you to the wall and turn you into fucking jelly. <laughs> Coming in here with your Americanisms. Natties. That's why I said it into that. Don't, yeah. Don't say nappies. <laughs> I don't, I I think think nappies. Yeah. Nappies. I what think nappy he's head? <laughs> Diaper head. Diaper head. <laughs> Shitty sack. Head. So yeah, come and come and see us at Warlords. Judge. That's it. That's all we're saying. Come Ross, and see us at Nerf. We're the guys in the Warlords t-shirt. Oh, okay. Come and see us at the Warlords tournament. Yeah. We're the guys it. playing in Weekend well Warlords. Yeah, no, come and see Ashley Taylor's uh, charity event. Yeah, we'll just come play Xbox. Yeah, just come Tuesday play. nights are great at Warlords too. The more people that can come, the more we can keep the lights on. Yeah. It's incredibly hard running a small business and our margins yeah. and overheads are like just stupidly tight. So And it's like £2 all night. Yeah, come and play some games with some of the best players in the world. And some of the nicest people you can hope to meet. It's just a crack, man. He's playing X-Wing. And me. 
<laughs> I'd only made, I'd only made that joke. Yeah, yeah. Well. There's you should balance. Have, you should have got there first. There's balance. If we, you know, yeah, for everyone that's nice, like, <laughs> we've got, you know what? If there's, a, there's a stat that says one in three people is a dick. Oh, whoops. I've always I preferred bet, bet. The, the stat of everyone. He knows who he is. Yeah. Ev- <laughs> everyone is a C, fifty percent of the time. Yeah, yeah, and sixty percent of the time it works. None of the time. I've read a statistic I think, about it. I think yeah. they are going to play another round. So, so strong hammer. Wow, a new name yeah. right at the end of the game with zero on the clock. Time on the round. Yeah. Strong hammer comes in. That's four turns in a row. A He's just one. given him an answered shot. What's happening? Why are they laughing? I think Kev's, Why are I they think... enjoying themselves playing a game? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think Kev Winnie... didn't know what he dialed in. I think he's yeah. Ha ha ha! Winning what is the flob. <laughs> Winning is the new having fun. That's it. Salty win. So we wrote him off. Yeah, like yeah. second second engagement. We said there's no well, way well, Salty on, wins man. this game hold now. On, and he let's, wins. let's not say we. No, I'm including you in it. No, no. No, you are included in no, my no. in my mistakes. No. I do plan to travel in my life. I think it would be worth the trip to cross the pond and see you. Dallas! He's from Dallas. Tennessee. Dallas is He's from from Tennessee. 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 Dude, come, come over, right? And come. You, you bring your nice ass sipping bourbon Who and I'll release the Kraken. <laughs> and if you haven't had the Kraken, Right, yes, Dallas. Mate. You have to go and buy a bottle. It's 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 a. Is it Jamaican? It, no, it's, it's a, a it's a it's a spice rum. But where's it from? Do we know? Oh, it's it's Jamaican it's, rum. It's from J- Jack Black's chest, right? <laughs> um, it's Jack Black. No, no, Jack um, Black's a singer. No, not him. No, who's the comedian? What? The one from Pirates of the Caribbean. What's his name? Johnny oh, Depp. Jack, Jack Sparrow. Jack, Jack Sparrow. Sparrow is from his thing. I love that you're watching in Australia. I've got pointy pants. I've got, mold, I've got pointy pants, everyone. So the studio's just turned into a tent. Oh, totally. And that's um, from Rasta. That's, it is always from Rasta. It smells a bit musty, mind uh, you. But there you I, go. I'm single, by the way, everyone. So if any of you know any uh, unattached, like 11s out of 10 females that are into Star Wars. I'm glad you said, like, we went on from 11s then, because that would have been wrong. That'd be Jimmy Savile territory. Dude. Dude, yeah, yeah. seriously, yeah, yeah. it's me we're talking about. I have far, an 11 year old. No, I know. That's, that's definitely true. too that's far. That's too far, Steve. <laughs> uh, I'd like to uh, say that any of the what? opinions and <laughs> comments expressed <laughs> in this podcast are not necessarily indoors. Dallas loves crack and rum. Dude, yes, mate. listen, listen, it's my new favourite. It, it, I originally was, was having it with Coke, but crack and rum with loads of ice and lemonade, or my, it's my new thing I had. Because you know, we said freeze the magic number yeah do you know what i've worked at go on is probably two if you're having pint glasses yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> right no, i'll go with that because i was having pint glasses last night and i'd say a good third was rum yeah and i'd the first one give me a the first one i was paint i was trying to convert saying and i was sat there and i was like going whoa <laughs> i just wish it stand still for a minute <laughs> <laughs> so yeah dude Guys, from America, I come over, we've got some wicked hotels out here. And honestly, I know you lot think we got shit food. We really don't have shit food. I've been to Worlds, you lot have got shit food, <laughs> right? And I'm sure there's some bits of America. And I was so excited about going and man versus food in it. Minnesota and near where Worlds is, is rubbish for food. Oh, it's all it? Denny's and crap chain oh, restaurants. Come to America, we'll take you for a nice Sunday roast. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, a proper yeah. bit of Eng- a nice pie and mash stand. The East Decent End of carvery for eight quid. Oh, oh. Yeah. we take you to our our most classic and traditional of English fare, a curry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? chicken tikka masala. Look, um, to so Ulfric ten sixty six yeah. greetings warlords. Looking forward to meeting you guys in Nerf Herders. Uh, it'll be amazing. Have, yeah, amazing. come and see us, dude. We'll be uh, we'll be in the warlord stuff. The the the. You'll recognise us because we've got a little tranny with us. We won world. Yeah. Fourteen-year-old um, girl. Little man bun. Little little girl. No shoes. Um, we like young girls in our team. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just vilified. I know you was. I know you was. But I thought if I take it back, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. own it. Yeah. yeah. I, I've got but less. I've got less time to live. No, you haven't. Yeah, I have. No. Because I've, I've, because he drinks pints of Captain. So do I. It's I do know what? I saw a woman <laughs> and she told me my future. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I bought a, a bottle of Kraken rum on Friday, 
They were reduced in a co-op 20, 20 quid. 20 quid, yeah. Right. Me as well. Yeah, I was yeah, like, right. I'll have one of them. If it's, if it's 20 or below, I'm, I'm going to buy it. I do it, need right? to try the cracker. Um, oh, by, by Sunday, 8pm, it was gone yep. and I was out Saturday night. Yep. And I bought it at like 6pm. I've been Friday. really good <laughs> with the Kraken because <laughs> I'm trying to be on a bit of a diet. And I, I saw or heard that drinking every night is not good for the belly. Right. What well, depends? And in the past six weeks, uh, I've I've hammered that stuff every <laughs> night. <tonight. laughs> it's not a joke. Um, so I decided to back off, and just two or three times a week rather than every night. <clears throat> well, what it does is, is it, it, they say it's bad for the belly, but crack and rum is with a with a sugar free drink. I it's like, like a like a Pepsi Max or something like that. Uh, sixty calories a glass, or sixty calories a shot, right? So you could drink a whole bottle of that, yeah, and it would still be under your recommended daily allowance. Dallas, are you going to the next <laughs> world? <laughs> I'm waiting for Dallas to arrive. Yeah, I love yeah. that I'm talking to a guy. Yeah, so we've got, we've had, we've had where's guy, he from again? Uh, he's Tennessee. from Tennessee. So who came to is, see us? Is Tennessee anywhere near Dallas? Uh, uh, no. Uh-huh. Dallas deep south. that was from Dallas. Yeah, it would yeah, be yeah. amazing. Dallas, yeah, where did you live, I was Dallas? Hoping, no. Where did you live, Dallas? Who no. came to see us? Was it Adam Campers? It was a guy from... It was Adam, wasn't it? I'm sure it was Adam. Yeah. We've definitely had a visitor. Yeah. And he came and he visited oh, us. Oh, and we loved it. And it was amazing. Oh, he loved, he loved it. it. He loved, loved it. it. He brought a load of cards as well. Yeah, he brought a load of cards. Yeah, he brought a load of cards. And um, loved it. he brought a friendly travelling list with him at yeah. the time. Ghost phone. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, apparently, uh, James Two Stakes is saying that pint of Guinness is I only 30 calories. I can't stand Guinness. It's the too only heavy. Guinness yeah, I like, heavy. I like, and those of you that are like born and bred in London will know what I'm talking about is a proper Guinness punch. Oh, right. Right. I don't know what that if is. You never. Well, no. the next time we get to go to London, I'll take yeah. you to my mum and dad's, and I'll take you to a little Jamaican takeaway. Yeah. And we'll buy you a nice plate of like saltfish, ackee, planting rice and peas, couple of dumplings, yeah. and a pint of Guinness punch. And it's Guinness with Nestle's milk, Carnation's Nestle's milk, right, yeah. um, nutmeg. Oh, really? And just chilled. And it is the best thing ever. Nice. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll, I'll be down with that. Uh, so, Dallas, I would like to... I'm still new to X-Wing. So, Dallas was asking earlier about... Um, was it Dallas? I can't remember. But whether or not he should buy a conversion kit... Or whether he should just buy ships in the two point eight. Oh, you should definitely get a conversion kit, one of each. Yeah. I think. Well, it just gives you a ton of cards. Oh, it's a load of stuff, load of cool stuff in there, dials, bases. Yeah. They're really worth every penny. It could not have been the other guy, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. But, but Dennis, listen, if you are going to Worlds, what I want you to do is either comment on another post, comment on a raster and ash, let me know you're going. And I will bring a bottle of Kraken to Worlds with no, me, and we Tommy. will break we will break the seal on the Kraken. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm planning on going to Worlds. Next Red year. Bull and Guinness, Black Bull. Yeah, yeah. So it's a slight. Sounds rank. Yeah. That sounds well, horrible. Well, do you know the Guinness? Um, the Guinness. What I call it, a Guinness snake bite. It's not called that, but it's half a cider and half a Guinness. And it's always a, like a black velvet because it's really smooth. It's got a light, nice yeah, bit of carbonated in it. I can't. So I know this up, might sound a bit like girly. I don't like beers and ciders and all of that. No. no. You have cider? You yeah, have but coffee. I have that like toffee apple cider. It's like girly cider. I'd prefer a strong spirit yeah. with a mixer. I'll stick or, to brandy, thanks. Or a, like <laughs> a cheese board. Yeah. And a good bottle Ooh. of red wine. I can't drink wine. Oh, I can. Love a good bottle board. of red. If you really want to be drunk, yeah. you drink oh, I know. wine. Yeah, I yeah. know. You get. Or totally two bottles of champagne at eleven o'clock no, Christmas morning. Don't. <laughs> oh, I don't. I'll drink one all by myself before I started peeling. Yeah. Oh, f- f- fiddlestick <laughs> by the end of it. <laughs> no <laughs> I'm champagne. Properly no. messed up, yeah. and then I'm asleep by half past two. So you yeah, know, it is because I'm Italian. But a good red wine. Like, you can go to Italy and buy, it's called a, a vino di tavola, which is just table wine. Yeah. When but it's you, beautiful. Uh, yeah. When you finish conversing with the world. Uh, Australia, click. America. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jeff yeah, Ball, yeah. I don't mean three of each. I mean one of each faction, certainly a good call. So, yeah, sorry, just on that, the guy had eight, like, TIE fighters and a TIE FO. So, no. I'm not sure whether or not it's... If he gets a, a corset and a conversion kit... Is that all he's got ever? Yeah. And he's got no yeah, so other ships really ever? new to it. He's, he's subscribed to us, which is cool. So, dude, um, I don't know if you're still listening, but yeah, yeah he's just he's just commenting. In your local community, 
is there a lot of active gamers that have been playing a long time that you have like a good relation, good friendship with? Because if there is, you know, there's we all help each other out with ships. Yeah, yeah you know, we do, yeah. If, if someone's yeah. like, oh, I really want to build this list, but I've only just started playing and I haven't got a psych or a whatever, yeah. well, we'll lend you one yeah. or we'll lend you the bits and bobs. Because yeah. you don't want to limit yourself. Because I think if you limit yourself, you might get a bit bored. Because there will be lots of people coming against you with completely unlimited lists. Yeah, yeah. That ain't going to be like, I've just got TIE Fighters. Yeah, uh, yeah you're right. And you might, you know, have, yeah, have it, the fun taken out of it. Certainly the excitement for us is that we've got like this massive toy box now. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Do uh, that's just batch. from uh, Maplin. And he's hollowed it out a bit and put in like some Feldair inserts. Yeah. So Maplin, if you're not oh, from Maplin's the UK, stand, isn't it? yeah, yeah, it's gone bust. Stand. But it's like an electronics or yeah, like it's, it's like a camera case with pluck foam in it. Yeah. I've got one of those. Yeah, it works quite well, and it's like a flight case for it. Isn't and it, it? So and he's hollowed it out so he can just put his Feldair inserts in it. But he, he gets you get a lot more sturdy. And you can take loads. Yeah. You know, I've got a big one like that, and you can get in 40, 50 ships all oh, really? at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, cool. Cool. Um, so, yeah, that's the stream for tonight, I reckon. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm yeah. gutted I only just come and commentated. I've had some really fun games. I played Salty. Oh, we, oh, yes. oh, oh hold got, on, hold on. Hold on. Don't go. We've got the... We've uh, got him on the Wookiee Slayer. We've got the, the Wookiee Slayer <laughs> in. Uh, Salty... I've uh, like, him Boss. Salty's just joined us, so... Um, have, a just, have a seat. Have a seat. So, um, can you talk us through the last four turns? Where, I mean, were you? Were <laughs> I you just told him? No, basically, <laughs> no one is going to criticise you. Come and talk to us. No, uh, <laughs> the way it looked to me that you were basically just going to Kev. I'm here, right? And you can shoot me, and I won't shoot back. But I'm still going to win. <laughs> you, you just did it intentionally. You're going. I know where you're going. And what I'll do is every time I just fly past you, I'll stay here. I won't try and barrel out of arc. I won't try. No, I'll just let you have the shots and still win. <laughs> I don't know, really. It was it six one half dozen of the other. What was it? Yeah, and the la the last one, it was I put all my eggs in one basket because I was like, I ran away the turn before. Yeah. So hopefully, and I played my my dial down quick, and I was like, Kevin might think I'm going to run away, and I was yeah. like. Hold on a second, no, yeah. because of the, the uh, wonky barrel roll, yeah. the cloak. I was like, all right then, um, I'll dial in a hard one. Yeah, <laughs> just take the stress and be like, oh. Well. What? But what? More importantly, talk to me about that last move that Kev did. I mean, what was that all about? <laughs> it, it just said he was like, <laughs> what? What? It was like, what have I even done, Salty? What have I done? He did cloak the wrong way. Didn't yeah, he? yeah. He yeah. was like to come out to then come yeah, back yeah, in yeah, again. Yeah. 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 Um, so Dallas, yeah, I just, I just, I just want to say, so my one friend who's um, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Jeff, oh, yeah! Don't do that. Jeff. Shut up, Jeff. Don't type anymore. It's what is dead, but the next town has over seven or eight guys that have I've been playing from the beginning. I'm planning to friend them. Awesome. Uh, let, uh, that really is the way forward with X Wing. Get yourself involved with a group of uh, similar-minded people, and they will help you out. Uh, and then you'll get it, it involved in the right Facebook pages. You'll find second-hand ships. So um, I would personally say, if you can befriend some of them people and go, can I try out a few different lists from different factions? You may suddenly find, actually, Scum's really fun. Do you know what? I'll get myself a conversion kit. I, I, I kind of know roughly what I want. I'll hunt down a couple of just ship-onlys on eBay or whatever, or on various sites that are still selling off 1.0 ships out of the packet, no cardboard, right? Because you can still do that yep. and build your lists because not every ship's viable. And I know like you're meant to be in that position where you want to fly everything, but come on, yeah. like, I can name like, yeah, I can name yeah. like eight ships and that's all you need yeah. from Scum. Yeah. And I could name like yeah. five ships is all you need from Rebels. Yeah. And pretty much the same with Imperials. <laughs> it's like Luke and four Z95. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Three A wings. No, that's Luke. five ships. <laughs> Luke and Luke. Uh, Luke with who's that other one? Uh, Luke. Luke. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wedge's ship. By oh, the way. By the way. Did I mention? First stream. I smash Wedge yeah. to bits. First stream, anyway. right? Someone comes on. Someone comes on. And goes. Oh, hi Tim. Yeah, I wondered if you'd be on tonight. When he's like, um, Wedge. So he was like, What do you think about Wedge now? And I'm like, Oh, yeah, he did pretty well at the weekend, didn't he? You won Nordic Nationals, didn't he? And then the guy goes, Thanks very much. Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so two, two weeks ago, when I was saying how 
crap wedge was, this guy was going, I've got him in this four ship list I quite like. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Andreas. Yeah, yeah. That's you, isn't it? He's gone. So, yeah. he's, he's, he's not, not on. He's not on. No, he's gone, I know he's yeah. not, but he yeah. might listen back to this. And if you yeah. listen back to this, because you obviously were t shirt cannoned by the 181 or whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, the 118. That little tiny team in, yeah. I don't know, East Ham somewhere. Um, if you actually want a decent, reputable, <laughs> successful team t shirt, give us a call. Uh, we don't have any of the silly colour rules or yeah. any of the silly, like, social standing rules. Um, we're just kind of poor working class people that like to get drunk, play X-Wing and win all the major events. Yeah. So if you want, like, a relevant actual T-shirt, give us a shout and we'll teach you how to fly a proper X-Wing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so Salt, <coughs> sorry, because uh, we got to cut the stream soon. I know we so Salt, like 125 points to 104. You beat yeah. Kev. Kev's one of the best players. Yeah, I know. I was papping it when I found yeah. out that I'd got Kev. I was like, oh, he's going to stove my head in here. But is this your first time on a stream? Properly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, apart from, I was at UK. Sorry, TC. sorry, sorry. I just, oh, yeah, I just yeah. let me just interrupt for a translation for our Australian and American friends. Papping it means he um he shit his shorts. Yeah he did. And in Australian means he he ruined his kicks. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I'm just here. I'm I'm keeping it multilingual. Carry on. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. But no S uh, sort it. <laughs> but do, do, do you think it went well? Because I just gotta say that literally three turns in when you did the um, <laughs> when you did it, you know what's coming, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You did the four K and then you'd one bank boost in, yeah. and then you went five forwards. Yeah, Mister Marsden it wrote you off at that point. Yeah, no, he did tell me. He came out straight away. He was like, "I wrote you off." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, um, and Vess, we th well, I felt that Vessery lasted two rounds longer than maybe he should have. Oh yeah, and that's pretty much the turning point. But when 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 he ended up yeah, getting oh, the force, and then he was you were just sinking damage into yeah, into tie fights it was just right when he was he was on the force. As soon as he got the two stress, I was like, "Well, there's no point in me trying to get." Rid of it yeah, as, yeah. as he's like, yeah. on one he's got two hole left. Yeah, I was like, all oh, right, whatever, yeah. okay. I'm just gonna go balls to the wall. I'm gonna get Rexer to get the target lock. Yeah. So then he's still got his ability and try and get as much off from that ability before yeah, he yeah. went. And and I think you managed to take one down and the tie fighter, and a couple of damage on another one before he actually went and he yeah, was on two hole. Yeah, yeah. And I think that for me was the was where it kind of he's, he's, he's well, just an absolute demon. Yeah. I think he's an utter no. You know, beast. it's the yeah. chassis. Like like people yeah. completely <clears throat> underestimate how hard it is to acquire a focus and an evade oh, yeah, on yeah, yeah. the same ship. Yeah, especially on a three, and when you three combine agility. those two tokens with free agility four shields. Yeah. Mm. They are just insane. So, and yeah. Like I, I just played Salty before he played. <clears throat> no disrespect. I, I'll give you a good levering, didn't I? Yeah, you did. I smashed Big you a bit. Time. But because my list basically stole all his tokens. Yeah. And because he didn't have any tokens, it was a completely different game. But when those things have got those two tokens, they're the most forgiving ship I've yeah. ever seen in my life. Yeah. Because you've got to do all those four shields behind those tokens and those green dice to even half point. Kev just made a really good point out there. He was saying you've got two ships with advanced sensors. Yep. I mean, I know well. you don't, you didn't fly advanced sensors on both tonight, but you could mm. do. Yeah. So you've got two ships with advanced sensors, potentially with enough points for HLC, although it's not as good as 1.0, mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, they've got three agility, they've got seven health, mm. and they can always get focus evaded every turn. Mm. Yep. He was saying they're basically 2.0 robots. Yep. And he was saying he's actually oh, right, yeah, yeah. They're better than the 2.0 robots. But I, I, yeah, they're on small bases. Oh, they've the 2.0 robots. They've got, got, they've got <laughs> barrel roll. Mm. So got, I've been running. Well, they're action bars. No, no, sorry, I meant. Oh, yeah, it's I've, everything. Like I've been robots. running Vader and Rexler, right, as my two ship. Yeah. Exactly the same. Fully loaded yeah. Vader, fully loaded Rexler. And I love it. Rexler, like Vader dies. Hmm. Vader's really good and he'll get in places and he'll do stuff and then he goes pop. And then Rexler goes, I'm not dying. Yeah. I'm not dying. I've got I don't one know hole. I'm not dying. I don't know how to die. Come on then. I'm going to win all by myself yeah. on one health. And I'm going to keep flipping your cards yeah. over. And I'm going to keep yeah. K turning and double focusing. Or I'm going to K turn, oh, boost, evade, bad. duke. Yeah. All this nonsense. Yeah. I've already got the target lock. I've got fire control. Yeah. <clears throat> They're such a good chassis. Yeah. I mean, the fact that they've got boost now as well. The one bank, they never had one bank before, did they? No, yeah, I think uh, they, yeah, they did. They've, they've always had the one bank. Now. But yeah, it's yeah. white, it's green yeah, it's now, blue, that's yeah, right. So they've actually got a slow bank yeah. off. And yeah. that caught me out. I played when Sim was playing one, where I'm like, oh, he's going to free. And he just went, one bank, evade. Yeah. 
because they've got evade. Yeah, yeah. Got evade. Right, so they've got yeah. evade as an action, boost yeah. as an action, yep. an extra shield, extra shield, an extra two greens, an extra K turn, because they never had a 2K before, did they? No. Nope. No, they never had a 2K. So, uh, what, today or or my, my Vader Rexler list, bro? So strong hammer. Oh, I love his name, strong hammer. Scum that is. Scum. I was running hey, Flom, <laughs> Plob, and Fenru. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. for a translation into Australian, that'd be Fenral, Palob, and Forlom. And then Americans. Does anyone do a good American accent? Because I've just done Australian, Not and really, I feel no. I may end up in the South African. Category. I think you should go for it. <laughs> yeah, I think you should um, go for it. I'm good at um, Aust- uh, Americans, and let me let me try and let me try and get one in my head. Then there's a you have to do the upspeak thing, don't you? Oh, oh man, I've got four alarm. Make everything. Farrell oh. and P- Pelon. <laughs> and really Team America, it. yeah. Oh, Fuck yeah. You went, you went full something like that. Full on Trump yeah. supporter. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I thought yeah. you were going to go do the upspeak thing. Yeah, no, I'm going like to build a wall with my rocks. <laughs> the best wall. The best wall. <laughs> I'm going to make the Empire pay for it. I don't care that it's space and you can just fly over it. Hold on. Did you just call the Mexicans the Empire? No. Yeah, sure? no. Did you, did you just almost, assume their gender? Almost. <laughs> Sorry, Strong They're Hammer. Forlom, Palob and Femral. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of been doing the rounds. It's <laughs> nothing no one's not heard of. I played a couple of games against Simeon on Saturday. He was testing out some re- uh, Imperial stuff. I've been doing some scum commissions for a customer, which are Transformers. I put them on the table. I had a load of fun with them. I've never flown a G1A in 1.0. He's amazing, isn't he? How much fun is he? Palob's insane. Fenrau is just a monster. Yeah. A monster with one upgrade. Hi, I'm a ship. I've got a crap upgrade. Yeah. Dare you come near me. Yeah. Go on, I'll double dare you oh, to I'm come near me. I love it. Really, really fun no, list. Yeah, yeah, cool. But really, for me, my big love of 2.0 so far has been 99 point Luke with friends. Yeah, yeah. So Super Luke. Super Luke and 3A wings. Super Luke and 4Z95s. Yeah. Oh, I beat that list. Yeah, you did. You're the only yeah. person. It's all right. I'll take that. That's what that, <laughs> that, 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 that's what that, that chewing left, was a minute ago. That left a, a fire in my belly. That when I went to UKTC, I punished them all. All. I of know them. you did. It was all brilliant. Of them. And then you just gave me a shoe in then. So. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So well done, Saul. It, it was a good game much. to watch as well. We. It was the first game that me and Tim actually spoke about because we just normally talk a load of rubbish. Yeah. But we actually spoke that's about that game because it was. Um, it was actually really intriguing of how you flew it because we know you're an aggressive flyer anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was really intriguing that the things that we thought you were going to be aggressive, you kind of laid back a little bit. The things we thought you were going to bug out, you hard threed in and jousted it. It was like it was a real interesting game to watch. And the ion from that crit that, that, that put, turned the, it that put just, the bomber yeah. onto the rock. Mm-hmm. Um, that was oh, did you did he get disabled power? Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. While That's he was literally, like, it was like of all the of it said I would took any other crit. But that in that situation, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the damage deck is the like the least rated part of two point oh. It's so bloody it's savage. It's the yeah, most yeah. savage thing. Yeah, savage, savage, savage. And yes, Fallon. Um, I don't know if he's like the linchpin to the list, but he's just such a good ship to have in that list. When you pair him with Palob and they run near each other, yeah, you just can't. And you really hurt him, and he does die pretty much every regame but the work they have to go through and the combo of him giving you that stress or two if you don't let him have triple o and then palob stealing a token or jamming you or then both double jamming you is insane yeah. while fen goes just ignore me i'll turn up in a minute at range one with fearless and take you off the board because yeah. you've got no tokens mm. uh, yeah it's just i, I like all that See, I, I fly that list, but I don't oh, do. put um, Fen in. I put Nim, Nim. in yeah, yeah, for a bit cool. of board control with the yeah. seismic bombs. I genuinely stuff, so. think the key is shipping that list is Palob. Yeah. Palob is just just ridiculously yeah. good. Yeah. In a game which generally predicates over a single token, to have someone that knows <clears throat> you're not having that not token, yeah. or potentially I will jam the lock you're going to take, and I'll steal the token that you get. 
or mm. whatever. You, you know, it's almost a double bubble killer. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a really clever little trick. And he's really hard to hurt. With yeah. Debris Gambit, two focuses and evade. I've stolen your token. Range two, range three. I might be behind a rock. I've got, I'll, I'll you know, put, put I've got leak crew. I yeah, have yeah. leak crew as well. Oh, you've done a big roll. Reroll them all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's really yeah, tough I'd, to take down. I think with Leet, though, James, and Debris Gambit and Engine Upgrade, I swear by Engine Upgrade on that ship, um, he's such a good ship. I'd prefer to personally lose points off of Forlom uh, rather than lose points off of Palop because yeah. Palop is game-winning. Yeah. If yeah. you get him in the right spot and you pressure with the other two ships, mm. they know Palop's a nightmare to take down because of the tokens. They'll go for the other two, and then once Palob is gets into the end game, hopefully with Fen, you're dead. Yeah. You can't you can't live with Fen and the ship that's taking your only token <coughs> away. Yeah, you just yeah, can't. Yeah, you're right. You're and right. Palob's hit so hard. Yeah, you get him all suddenly he's boosted in. I've got two tokens sat there. I'll steal another one of your tokens. Thanks very much, and I'll shoot you with four dice out front. Yeah, and he's he's good against <coughs> defenders as well because he'll he'll steal the. Uh, the evade to, yeah. to switch oh, Duke off Absolutely. and then it'll jam I was off actually, the focus. I actually found it was better like playing against Salty was stealing his focus it was yeah, was yeah. Going, you have the Duke but you've got nothing to modify your shot yeah. so you go brap and he goes I've just rolled a hit and two focuses so that'll be one then will it yeah, yeah. I've just rolled two evades yeah. oh and by the way the focus I stole or Duke me I'll spend yeah. your focus thanks yeah, very yeah, much yeah, and yeah. I dodged it anyway yeah. And then when you do actually shoot him, I know he's got the single evade to add, but you're more likely to not take damage. I think that's the trick with the damage race. Even if you only sink one damage to him, but he does none back, yeah. that's the trick of winning the damage race. Um, I'm about to play it. I don't know why I'm stood in this position. <laughs> Tim's, just oh, oh. Tim's just lunged through the door. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm mildly around. <laughs> She's what's she, more disturbing. So showing you, a little uh, bit of brain. Could you, could you kill the picture, please? Yeah, of course we can kill the picture. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, cool. Um, so, so uh, play transition. That's yeah, there we go. Thank you very much. So, this is uh, Fly Casual Tuesday. I, I might need help getting out of this position. Yeah. yeah. I'll help you in a minute if yeah. you want. With my foot. What, you sat on a space hopper, weren't you? Sorry? Sat on a space hopper. I'm That's like, just his piles. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my files. <laughs> so yeah, that was the list that James threw at Coruscant. Yeah, no, dude, it's, it's really... And then I've seen lots of people flying it, and I know it's kind of like a fixed archetype, but mm. James, you know I've just painted two fangs and a nim for Alex, and they're all Transformers. He's inspired me to basically redo my whole scum army as the Transformers. Nice. You, when you all awesome. see it, I've got some sick conversions coming. But, yeah, it's just, it's always good to have bits that, like, yeah. you know, to switch about. You know, at heart, I'm a rebel. I always will be a rebel. I've got a, an imp list in my bag. My imp list is Vader pilot as opposed to crew because it's broken. I don't do that. And it's a defender. So if I win a game with two, two aces and 2.0, I feel like I've actually done something. And my scum list, what would you want? Yeah. I mean, what you meant to do with scum? It was either me fly that, or I was going to fly like Han and three Zeds, which I was going to make like a, a Heaver's Han and Zed list, but scum version, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it works better. Yeah. It's just fun to play with stuff. Yeah, yeah. Fun cool. to play with stuff. Cool. You know. Um. So, and Ian's Hawk as well. What's James saying? Yeah, I've, do you know, this, I'm struggling with that, because I, I wanted to put some engines on the side of it. i got this plan, but the engines I wanted to use... They're off of a, like a, a passenger airliner. And I brought this passenger airliner years ago and I used three of the engines to convert one of my converted Falcons, you can see on my page. It's got the tri-engines at the back without yeah, the engine yeah, cowling. That's beautiful, that and one. these scaled engines, I wanted one on each side because they're all going to be these flames and it looked like a hot rod and I give it a spoiler and all that. You think I can find the right scale model airplane kit? The past four weeks I have been hunting for this model airplane kit. And eventually I will find it and he'll have it, but yeah, that, that that is happening. But James, wait till you see Alex's Transformers. They are insane. And like, yeah, when I do a commission for people, there's often commissions I don't want to let go, yeah. but there's not that often commissions that when they go, I look at them and I go, I have to remake that for myself. I yeah, can't yeah. live without owning that. Yeah, yeah. And that certainly happened. Was that the, uh, you give us a little sneak? Yeah, you Tuesday. saw three yeah, of them. Yeah. Like, but I've gone back and, so like my Optimus Prime is now a YV666 
and it will look like Mate. a Mack truck. It's got all the exhausts coming out the side. That uh, that's I'm going to scratch build the grill. Yeah. My G1A is insane. My Hawk is in. Wait to see my Hawk. It looks like a mini Tantive. It's, oh, really? it's ridiculous. But it looks it looks like a Transformer. Yeah. And all of them are. My Kiraz is like the one off. You know the one that the title card is with the grill on the front yeah, and the yeah. cockpit move back. I've built that. Um, my fangs are going to be a Ferrari Dino and a uh, the the yellow one Bumblebee with a yeah, little yeah. spoiler. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. I've got Hound, who's <clears> going to be a Camoglia, all converted, all with underslung missile pods and wings on the back, all in camo. I'll do them all. Yeah, I'll do yeah. all the Autobot characters from the films. And I've just, yeah, they're, they're going to look wicked. I love, I love the theming thing, you know? Yeah. All I do is paint Star Wars for people. So to be able to actually go, I'm going to kitbash the shit out of something and I don't have to keep within the restraints of Star Wars. Number one, it's scum, so I feel like I can. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a cool theme, so I don't really care. I just want well, to have it themed. It kind of started with <coughs> the, um, I guess everyone's pretty much seen it, the, the Thunderbird. I love it that. It actually that. probably started with James's Mario stuff. Yes, yeah. which he got at... He's had loads. System done open. And bef- oh, no, no, loads. no, it wasn't. It was a, uh, it was a uh, element regional that you give him. So I remember. Okay, Juice eighty four. Can't wait to see a Transformers end. I've been having some of my scum ships done uh, as the monster, monster bots, bots from Transformers two. Yeah, wicked man. So wicked. Um, my my question that is, why aren't you using Raster to do it? Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Cool. It's cool. Cool. But um, I will be putting up pictures of the Transformers in the next week or so. The next set of pictures tomorrow, which you'll all love to see. And um, uh, Tartan James, I'm sure you'll love to see because you actually own it, is the first of Lando's Millennium Falcon repaints that I've done since it's been released. Wow. Uh, it's a Space Invader themed. That movie. is awesome. And it is basically the bedspread that I had on my bed as a kid on a Falcon. Nice. Um, and you'll so love it. Cool. We've, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. James owns that. I'll put all the pictures up of that tomorrow. Friday, by the way, I'm having another sale of some of my own personal ships. Yeah. Need to yeah, kind yeah. of clear stock out, get a bit of money in. So tune in on Friday for that. But yeah, tomorrow will be some really pretty James ships. And then I'll probably post up the Transformers on Sunday or Monday. Yeah. So they'll be coming in the next week, but then my own person, yeah, look, Tartan James, yeah, dude, I love that ship so much. <laughs> and I don't know if Cormac Higgins is listening, <clears throat> but your Millennium Falcon's nearly fish- finished as well, and I'll be getting in contact with you in a couple of days. So he has your original <coughs> Airwolf, so I think you should let him off. Yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, dude, I know who you are now. Yeah, man, oh, totally. Yeah, that's cool, man. I'm doing you the A-Team van as well, aren't I, big boy? <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm going to be doing that soon. I got, I'm also doing a hawk that's meant to be um, the Trotters Traders van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that, I remember that. Yeah, that I'm week. still working out what to do with that. Yeah, because um, he. Um, I've got to do an 18 Sheepapede shuttle. Yeah, I do like me. I do like me themes. Yeah, I think I theme, like themes make themes. it though. Yeah. Oh, it just makes it a bit different. And personal and like it just changes yeah. things up. I like I like personalising yeah, yeah. stuff and having a bit of fun. And like for me. It's art. Yeah. It's not just playing war games. And like, there's nothing. I don't know. You make music, so yeah. you should. Yeah. Uh, when you just have all the restraints taken off you, and yeah. you're allowed to just indulge your creativity completely. Mm. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. I am. That's it. That's who I am. One hundred percent from core to the outside. Yeah. I'm that artist. And when I get older, saying where someone's basically taken the reins off and goes, here's the sprinkling of the idea crack on yeah and they let me play that's when they generally get the best work i mean james for example and we started with his i want you to mario theme me or do me one like this and one like that and one maybe that's blue and yellow like wolf wario because someone called it wolf wario yeah mm. and then i messaged him back and two hours later with some blue tacks stuck on top of some aussie tucks and went look i'm gonna put hats and mustaches on them right <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right and he went oh my god do it and he just let me crack on, and suddenly they've got crowns on them, earrings, yeah, yeah, yeah. moustaches, yeah. hats, little spikes, toad, little toadstools, toadstools on the, base. on the yeah. bases, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and then you've got like the the um, like Cooper Troopers, like yeah. the shells on the sheathapede, and the shells on the sheath. Yeah. There's mush. There's uh, banana skins yeah. on the bases. There's all yeah, sorts yeah. of stuff like that. Yeah. 
so yeah, I mean, when you get to just totally indulge your, your artistry, it's the best for me. I get it, you know, and like like you say, you know, with the music is a similar thing for me. Yeah. You know, if someone says, can you do a remix of this tune or whatever, then there's no rules. I've just got the bass which I can work from and then yeah. I just do Here's the thing. idea, you know? crack on. Yeah, and then I'll send it to them, they'll go, well, can you change this bit or can you change that? But it's much like the same process from you. Yeah, they don't get the but option I get, to change. I get, I, I, never, I never change. They I never change anything. Here's what you've got, right? You better like it. Yeah, and the dials as well. Yeah, yeah, the, di- yeah. the dials, I've got some dials that are going to blow all your heads soon. I've just hit a bit of a roadblock Which? with, with, getting them manufactured at the moment but it will be happening in the next two or three weeks I'm going to speak to my friends Cog or two if you're listening I'll be up soon I need to book an appointment with you but wait till you see my dial covers people then you'll be able to personalise yeah. all your you lists. can see a sneaky peek of them on your Patreon I believe yeah there is yeah. you have to log in you have to actually sign up to the Patreon for that I think well, then why wouldn't but you yeah why wouldn't you for two dollars a month yeah. and thank you very much for all the support it is growing a little bit it's going to half of that goes to help keep the lights on at Weekend Warlords pay for all this technology which I do believe we are pretty much set in the way in this country for streaming and yeah just our mm. internet presence so to speak with yeah. Rasta and Ash and Rasta Maze Painting and now with our Tuesday Night Fly Casuals and our tournament coverage the quality of our stream is all thanks to John yeah. and is in no way in part of the money that has been put into Rasta Maze Painting. So 50% of that goes back to John and 100% of it is reinvested back into it. Yeah. What we earn out of Rasta Maze Painting doesn't cover 10% of what we spend actually yeah. making it happen. Uh, it, we don't make any profit out of it at all. It all goes back into it. Yeah. Covering time, yeah. covering diesel, covering equipment. So if you keep supporting it, $2 yeah. a month, the more of you that we get on, it's going to help keep the lights on on a little business that's run by family. Although mm. there's no blood family, there's people here that are working 60, 70 hours a week for 40 hours money. Yeah. <clears throat> um, there's guys that do a lot of stuff for this store and this community for free. Mm. don't get anything back from it apart from just loving to do it for you guys so please yeah. anyone that can yeah. go out and support Rasta Maze Painting I know it's got my name on it but it's not just about me it's about supporting this yeah. Weekend Warlords X-Wing community well the Tuesday nights I mean we me and Tim we sit in here and we talk about a game I mean let's be fair I've not played tonight you know I probably won't play tonight but I am um, this is what I love to do I love to I was gonna say you get excited every time you're asked yeah, yeah. Oh, do, do, do you know what? Yeah, yeah, I love I, I'm like love you, it. Steve. I love. I, I, could, I, I could be a radio host, DJ. I could yeah, talk yeah. and talk, and I love to talk. And for me personally, a lot of streams I've watched, and I like. Trust me, if I was doing this stream from start to finish, you'll definitely get me talking about the game. Yeah. yeah. But they can sometimes be too boring, too dull, and you know we want to talk to you guys because. You've got enough of an overlay. You've got enough information there to kind of keep up. So we love the comments. We love just bantering with you. We like sometimes talking about our personal lives and problems yeah. and this, that, and the, you know, real world stuff that is more important than plastic spaceships. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, <coughs> yeah this, we, this, we love that people are like. Well, John, the director, John, has, has literally <coughs> give us the platform to do what we love to do. You know, yeah. and. Uh, you know, Tuesday night we get away with a few swears. We do, we do, we don't on a, on the weekend. No, no you've got to be because, good. At the you know, weekend, we have the Americans watching. watching; they tend to get. Well, it's, it's more, that. it's more that you know. Oh, you said kids. I thought it's, it's, no, it's, it's that Denise same Howard, isn't it? Oh, She's yeah, yeah. very, you know, yeah, very touchy. Very touchy. Very yeah, touchy. Very touchy. Um, so you know, we 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 do what we do because we love doing what we do. Mm. You know, um, if you want, oh, we love. If, if you want to check out my music, rogue squadron dot bandcamp dot com, and you can buy it there. It's dead cheap. So. There's my plug. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. We're gonna we're gonna kill the stream there because <clears throat> the kettle's just kicked in and that's our cue. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please tune in tomorrow at midday. It's Rasta and Ash. Yes. I've got a fly bloody decimator. Thanks internet for that. Ash has got an actually <laughs> pretty bloody tasty list with a ghost. So I yeah, don't yeah. often lose on stream. Tune in tomorrow for Rasta <laughs> losing on stream to Ash, which is more of a insult than you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? It weren't too bad if he'd beat me and he was still handsome, but now he's <laughs> uglier than me. Right? <laughs> I've got nowhere to go with it. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Yep. Tune in tomorrow for Rasta and Ash. 
And um, we will see you next Tuesday if you don't join us tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. <coughs> so, uh, Sorty, well done. See you later, mate. Thank you very much. Rasta, thanks Thank for Thank you, me. Steve. And, uh, uh, <coughs> me. and Sod done. you, Tim. You're gone now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tim, no who even likes you. UKTC, hanger on. Oh. Anyway. Um, and that's it. <coughs> see you later, guys. One love, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. See you. Bye.